I'm gonna bless that guy, that son of a that son of a bitch. Hello, welcome to the Procrastinators <laughs> Podcast. Uh uh It's Ben Saint and it's give and take. You sound uh, like you literally are recording while in bed. Like on I your wish. side. I wish. Uh, I feel I'm a little, I don't know, this has been a week of like, uh, totally, totally fucked up my sleep schedule. I, I, I mean, uh, the last two days, like I went to, I went to bed at like 5 PM and then I woke up at midnight and then I worked until like 6 AM and then I went to sleep again until like 4 PM and then I woke up and the, and it's been mm. like that. Yeah. Um, Weird and wacky. It's been weird and wacky, and I just I just took a four hour nap, and I woke up, and it's ten twenty a.m. Oh god! god. And I, it I, feels I, so I'm bad. Not, uh, I yeah. I like when that happens. It's sort of yeah. like the the concept of days starts to blur, and you're like, what am? Ah, uh, part of me part of me enjoys weird. it. Part of me enjoys feeling like there's no there's no outside world, and there's no, and I'm just in in floating in space and i just like whenever i feel tired is it light out is it dark out i don't know whenever i feel like it i'll just go to bed for as long as i my body feels like sleeping and then i'll wake up and be awake for a while what day is it i don't know part of me enjoys (laughs) that feeling i Uh, i feel uncomfortable when that happens i like a structure that i can reliably be like yes today is this day tomorrow will be tomorrow well, phys- I mean, physically, I feel pretty bad right now. I'm also very, ugh, I'm very, I'm sickened. I'm sickened because I just had a, just right now, the reason why I'm like 10 minutes late is that I was, uh, ugh, my ro- my roommates are like, who's going to take over the gas bill? Ben, do you want to be the one to take over the gas bill? And no, I, I don't. I really don't want to do it. But somebody's got to, and, uh, and I'm going to get bullied into it. I have a bad feeling I'm going to get bullied. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I know. So I mean, somebody's got to do it. Uh, ugh, makes me sick. Uh, but um, hey, speaking of being in space, I've been playing Outer Wilds. Ah, uh, P- Pog. What do it you is think? Get, it is Pog. Uh, it's great. I. It's awesome. It's like if Spore was good. If I, Spore, uh, you know. Yeah. I yeah, I can see that a little bit. I mean, not. I mean, it doesn't have the creature creator, but no. it's got like planet planetary exploration and all that. Yeah, I'm. This is this is a bit spoilery, but I have managed to land on the quantum moon. Nice. And, and I think I know. I, I I have I've learned all three quantum lessons, so I think I know what I need to do when I go back there next time. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm I'm not going to look it up. Admittedly, I did have to look up. I had to look up the solution to one of the quantum puzzles. Uh, cause failed. I did not, it, a little bit fail. A little bit fail. I but I but I don't feel bad because I never ever would have figured out that uh, you have to use your 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 probe scout to like observe the arch to keep it from moving. That simply never would oh, have occurred to me. I I believe I believe in one of the temples. It teaches you that lesson. Yeah, but I was just not getting it. You didn't get it? I thought like you had to like use your probe in that place. Yes. Yes, and I didn't and yes, and I could not think to do, I did never thought to do it. Lamau. Yeah, I was I was fucking around and I was like ah, supernova is coming. I've spent my whole I've spent this whole run fucking around in this temple and I like I can't catch this fucking arch, so I had to google it and it was like use your scouter. Like, oh, fucking duh. But I never would have thought of it because I never, I never use the scout. Uh, oh, the scout's very useful. It, it, yeah, I, I slept. I slept on like the just, scout. just for like if you're in a cave, just shooting it on the walls, you can see what the hell's going on. Yeah, I would basically never use it unless I got like a ghost matter warning, or um, I'm, 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 ki- I'm kicking myself because I never thought to shoot it into the um the dark bramble seeds, and so oh, like, yeah. Now I have. I, first of all, I fucking I hate the dark bramble. I hate the oh, dark bramble so I'm much. S- I'm so glad. 
By the it's way, I think so I think scary. We, I think we should like uh like this is a spoiler for Outer Wilds. Put oh, that yeah. before because I, think, I want I think I said that, didn't I? You did, or... but like we didn't really make a big deal of it and people probably weren't. This it's, yeah. it's 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 important that you don't know anything about Outer Wilds uh like yeah. mechanics before you play it. Yeah, it, it... Yeah, a lot of it is a lot of the joy is in figuring it out. I I haven't that was like the one thing that I looked up is like what do I do in this fucking temple? Uh and I don't feel bad about it. Um, I I remember there being like a, a a log or a or a thing on the wall that says like an image of a quantum thing is the same as looking at it. And if you look away it changes where it is. Give So I was like I, I, Yep, it definitely did hit. Yep, it definitely gave me those hints, and I'm I just didn't get it. <laughs> I just did not pick up on it. So that's that's what happened there. It, but, but uh, talk about Dark Bramble because I ugh. it's it is the scariest, worst place in the world. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, what happens when you go into the Dark Bramble is basically the scariest thing I can imagine hmm. e- ever. Uh, it's like literally the sort of thing that I am scared to go to sleep because what if I have a nightmare about that? Um, but, and, and yet, you know, the first time it happened, it wasn't that bad. I was just kind of like, oh, whoa, okay. Yeah. You just sort uh, of like resigned yourself. Oh, okay. I'm being eaten. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I saw the, I saw the light. I saw it moving. I was like, oh, it's moving. Oh, is it attached to something? And then the fish shit up and I'm like, oh boy, there it is. <laughs> and only afterwards did I process like, that, that was really scary, actually. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's the anticipation, really. Like, when you actually see the fish, it's not like so bad. But like, when you're waiting for it, it's like, <laughs> I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna cry. I don't know yeah. how much of of things you've learned, so I'm trying not to like bring things up. But please keep telling me about your adventure. What did you f- What did you find out first? It, you want me to talk about the dark bramble? So, yeah, just talk about everything. I talk about anything. I, well, I, that, I would. It, I, I've beaten the game, so I know what you could. I th- I think I'm like pretty far in. I definitely have more stuff that I haven't found. Uh, in the bramble, I mean, I found the the guy playing his harmonica in mm-hmm. inside of the skeleton. I've found the um the the escape pod and the um the graveyard. Oh, and that's the the really annoying thing is that I realized later that I did not think to throw a scouter into the little bramble hole, so I have to go back and I have to find the graveyard again and throw my scouter in. Cause yeah, because I, I forgot I or I didn't at the time I had not realized you could do that, so I have to find that again. I found the big jellyfish frozen inside of the bramble somewhere. So how did you uh, find um what's his face the harmonica? Uh, how did I find him? Yeah. I, I did, I did use my scouter. I the, did, the I, audio? Oh, the, no, uh, the scouter. Y- yes, yes, yes. Yes, I followed the, um, I followed the signal. Yeah. I followed the, what do you, this, I forget. That was another thing. I have started using it more, but for a while I just never used the, um, like, signal locator. I was just winging it. I was just like, "Eh, hey, I'll just blast off and just go wherever." <laughs> That's the great thing, though. Like you, yeah. you, you fly around and merely observing how things work is like knowledge that you gain that you can use later. Yeah, it. Uh, when when I suddenly when I started using when I started using the it's not called the oscilloscope. Eh, whatever the one that. The one that yeah. gives you a little radar signal and it like tells you which directions some signal is coming in. When I started using that, that I mean that was how I suddenly I I figured out the the quantum stones. I started finding the quantum stones, and oh wait, you know the other thing I had actually no, I uh I had to look up like both things about the quantum stones. I'm so stupid, <laughs> but I would never have figured it out. I would never ever have figured out that you have to turn the lights off and the quantum stone changes location because you cease to observe it. I never would have figured that out. Um, the did you get to the underground place the where that you learned that? Yes, yes, I did. but you didn't figure out to turn the light off. No, I, I found that cave 
and I was looking around in it, and I was just like, um, okay. Yeah, and yeah, I found that cave, and I found the stone, and then I just left. I was like, well, I found the stone, and, like, there was nothing there. So, wasn't there, was like, writing to, 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 like, look? Yes, I found the writing, and I read it, and m- maybe somewhere in the writing it suggests, like, oh, yeah, I turned my lights off, and the stone disappeared. But I just, I just didn't get it. I, I mean, just didn't, I just didn't think to turn my <laughs> flashlight off because why would you ever turn your flashlight off? It is unintuitive, but like I've, I've found that like paying close attention to the things you read, yeah, is it, it does give you enough clues to figure out what to do next. Yeah, except for one part, but I don't know if you've got there yet. Uh, do you want to give me a hint for what the part is, and I'll tell you. Um. It's to do with the white hole transporters. Oh, do you mean the tower? Uh, the towers? Yeah, the tower that falls through the black hole. Oh, no. That's different. Uh, Oh. Then no, I don't think I have seen what you're talking about. White hole transport. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Well, Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I, that's fine. Well, I, gu- I guess there's more to there's more to find then. There is more. Yeah, I have so not... much. I, what what have I Okay, let me what what have I found? I found um like I've seen I've seen the Ash Twin, you know, become completely naked and I've figured out that it's some sort of hourglass that counts down to the supernova. Uh what else what else is there? I f- I think I found most everything there is to find in the dark bramble. Uh I Yeah, I I I did all the quantum stuff and I and I I think I know everything I need to know about the quantum moon. I just haven't like done it yet. Uh I I know I know I need to, I need to the shrine on the quantum moon needs to be on the north pole. I don't know how to get it there, but I think I I think I have an idea. Uh what are there found the guy on the Adel rock? Um, you know, I've delved into all the old ruins, all the like escape. Oh, I found the sunless city, but I didn't get to fully explore it because, oh, like, yeah. you know, the sand rose too fast. Yeah, that's that's a tricky one to to get down quickly. Y- yeah, yeah, you sort of have to remember, um, based on landmarks where you're supposed to land your ship to get there as fast as possible. Yeah, there's a uh, fucking that one's a. <laughs> Shit on the Ember Twin is a little annoying because, uh, like, once the sand's too high, it's like, well, uh, uh, nothing, nothing else to do. Did you get crushed by the rising sand? Oh, several times, several times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> makes a little squishy sound at the very end. Uh, yeah, they're like gr- <coughs> very gross, a little gross. Uh, you know, I find. I, f- I actually find um uh the giant's deep is almost as scary as the um as the bramble. Is there something uh, about something about the giant's deep? Like when I when I fall in the water, I'm scared to look down. Oh yeah, I was like that the first time. Like I crash landed on it, and I'm yeah. like, oh my god, it's water. Oh my god, yeah. if I go underneath, the, is it going to be like Subnautica? Are, are the big demons going to come and grab me? I, f- I like held my breath and I like forced myself to look down and it seems like it's just jellyfish so like it seems like it's fine but it's still like when I'm in the water I'm just like uh it yeah uh. <laughs> yeah um I think my first like I first landed on Giant's Deep I think that was like it was big it was green I just flew there that was I my felt, first I, thing I fell there by accident the first time and I'm like oh shit oh what the fuck oh I can't even jump because there's double gravity God double gravity damn is it. such a big planet. But Sucks. like, um, yeah. I landed on one of the islands, and I was just sort of like looking around, being like, "Okay, I don't know really ha- what I'm doing, uh, just finding things." And then, like, I just sort of, I was in space. Oh yes, the like, I haven't quite figured out what's going on with that. Is it like a tornado passes by, and like inside the eye of the tornado, there's no water and no atmosphere? Is that what that is? Uh, it's it's quite funny. I. I don't know whether to just explain it to you. Um, eh, eh, up to you. I mean, if you think it's like a big spoiler that I... Well, it's not a big spoiler. It's just sort of like something that when you notice it, you're like, what? 
No, you can you can tell me because like I've noticed it and I've been curious about it, but like, okay, I- I'm sure there's something going on. I just I haven't. So yeah, just tell me, just tell me. Yeah, um, the islands on Giant's Deep move around on the surface, and the tornadoes also mm. move around. And yeah. when an island c- connects to a, a tornado, the tornado oh, does it throw it into space. It throws it. It throws it into space. Oh like my pu- god! And then you're floating for half a second, and then the gravity of Giant's Deep brings it back down. And the first I time see. that happened, I had no idea what was happening. I thought I was gonna die. It was the scariest thing that ever happened to me because I had no idea <laughs> why I was in space and why there was no gravity. And I looked around. I'm like, "What? I'm gonna my ship's down there. I'm gonna die." I'm uh, and then I yeah, fell back down. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it's and it's funny because like if you you leave your ship on an island, sometimes you can see yeah. like your ship's like location. If it if yeah. the island that it's on gets blasted up, you can just see like oh, it's like six kilometers away now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's fallen. That is, yeah, that makes sense. I, I I was talking to um, I don't remember any of the astronauts' names, but I was talking to the astronaut on that planet. I think that's Gabro on on that one. That sounds right. Yeah, I was talking to Gabro, and it had happened before. So like, I knew that sometimes I just ended up in space for for, and I didn't understand why. But I was talking to Gabro, and I hear like a rushing sound start, and I'm like, oh shit, it's it's coming. And then it happens, and it's like, woof, and suddenly I'm in space, and Gabbro just, like, floats off of his hammock, and <laughs> yeah. he's, he's just floats, and then he, we just, I'm like, uh, uh, I I can't talk to him anymore, he's too far away, but I don't want to, like, jump, because I'll, like, I'll end up in space. Yeah. But then, like, a couple seconds later, it, like, poof, crashes down, and he fell back into the hammock, and I'm like, okay, we can yeah, proceed as, as well. normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he do, he doesn't even remark upon it. <laughs> like, he's yeah, used it's to just it. like, he's very used to it. <laughs> All the astronauts are so, I know this is kind of the point, but they're all just, like, so comfortable in these, like, oh, yeah. fucking unnerving and, like, scary situations. Especially they're all just it, hanging out. Like, all of these places harmonica, are, know? like, all of these planets and places are, like, like extremely beautiful. And, like, the, the sound design is really immersive, mm-hmm. especially with all the, like, you know, when you put your helmet on, you can hear yourself breathing when you're in space. You can yeah. only hear yourself breathing. Yeah. And and stuff like that, um, and it sort of it makes it extremely scary when you're going into the unknown and you don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. And then there's the familiar like, oh, you can you can roast a marshmallow around a little campfire every so mm. often. Mm, it's really yeah. nice. Haven't haven't roasted a marshmallow since like the the very first uh, since like the very first time I booted the game up. I've only I only did that once. Uh. I gotta say, I was pretty disappointed the first time I, like, jumped in my ship and, like, chased down that blue thing. You know what I mean? That the rocket uh, ex- the rocket blows up and it sh- throws out a little blue thing. Oh, yes. I have I found it. And I'm like, yes, I found it. Oh, like, the whole game, every time you start, you see this rocket explode and this blue thing fires out. And I'm like, well, I gotta catch it. And it's quite hard to find, to, to find it because you can't, like, you can't uh, autopilot lock onto it. So I really had to finesse it, but I finally got it, and then I'm just like, "Oh, it's oh, it doesn't do anything." I I don't know what it. Nah. <laughs> it's it's I found interesting because it, like, I I've always seen that, and I always thought like it's probably going way too fast, and I can't click on it. I can't like. Well, track it is it. going so. Fast. I didn't even try. I didn't even try to find them. Well, sometimes I notice that sometimes it shoots out with a trajectory that brings it like closer to um. Shit, what's the home planet called? Timber Hearth? Timber Hearth, yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes it, it, it fires out and it, like, kind of passes near Timber Hearth and it looks bigger. And I'm like, no, it's it's a thing in space. Like, you can, I think I could catch it, theoretically. And, yeah, you can. But it just doesn't wow. really do anything. Um, uh, it's very easy. It's very easy to overshoot it. Oh, man. To me, at this moment, the ultimate boss of the game is uh, landing on the fucking sun station. I tried like s- uh, seven or eight times to land on the sun station, and it's uh, it's hard. That Yeah, I never tried it uh, that way. I'm sure it can be done. I'm sure it can as well. It is just... It's a little toasty over there. It's a little, t- it's a little toasty, and like you can't get that close to the sun without it pulling you in. So like, in you only theory... You got one shot. 
you need to one shot it and i think it would it would work out fine if you like were if you sort of got near ish to the sun and sort of started accelerating towards it and you kind of like moved to the side and you sort of built up like uh, ang- side angular momentum, so you were sort of orbiting the sun at kind yeah. of the same rate that the um that the station was. I think that would make it easier. It's just it's very hard to do that because the way that the controls work, you know, to to um you know to match the speed of the sun, it it kind of uh automatically kills your angular momentum. Uh, yes, it's it's to match the the speed of the sun orbiting around itself so you mm-hmm. just sort of step and and start mm-hmm. being pulled towards it yeah you can um you have to you have to do it totally manually if you want to do that yeah yeah you have to do it totally manually and i i try to do it and it's uh, either i like lose my angular momentum and i just fall into the sun or i like go too far in sort of trying to build up angular momentum and i end up sort of like shooting past the sun in sort of like a comet like you know my my orbit goes way wide to one side, and then I have to like get close again. So I have not managed to land on the goddamn sun station. Uh, I'm sure I will have to go there at some point, but it's really hard. Yeah, I think uh, you can go everywhere. I think I don't think there's anywhere that's like impossible to get to. Yeah, some some places are difficult to get to if you wait too long. Y- yeah, because the I mean, on Ember Twin, you mean. Um, on Ember Twin, I think there's one or I'm trying to think. Uh, there's a few things. Okay, okay. I I still have no idea what's going on on like the inside of Ash Twin. I thought that uh, the supernova was coming from Ash Twin. Like I thought that like when the ash all drains off whatever was down at the bottom of ash twin is what is like exploding but no it's the it's the sun going supernova and when the ash all drains off i can see it's funny uh in the mines on timber hearth you can read notes about how they're mining the ore to you know build the shell around whatever is on ash twin yeah and and it's made of the same like starry looking rock and it's like oh yeah they really did it um so yeah, I, I've, I've, it drains off, and it's just like some kind of rock shell around whatever it is, and like I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. And uh, there must be a way to get inside, but I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, been uh, on the been on the quantum look- moon. I think what I have to do is I have to go back to the quantum moon, and I have to turn the lights off and let that uh, move the the station around or something. Uh, Got to do something with that, and I assume that will bring me to the eye of the universe, whatever that is. Uh, so that's that's probably next on next on my to do list. What have you seen about a uh, brittle hollow? Oh, brittle hollow. Um. Oh uh, well, I I've been to the hanging city. Uh, actually, that was like the the last. That was one of the last things that I found uh, the last time I played was, yeah, I had to wait until the tower fell through the the black hole and then find it out in space near the white hole. And, you know, and that you and that happens right at the end. Like once it goes through, you have like a minute to cl- to go and find the tower and, f- uh, you know, learn the last quantum lesson or whatever. Uh, I know there's the hanging city. I've been there a little bit. I think I have more to explore there. I've jumped through some of the rings that like teleport you through the tractor beams. Uh, other than that, I found the guy. I found the the astronaut on Brittle Hollow. I think I haven't really explored Brittle Hollow very thoroughly, to be honest. I think I need to get there like early and find mm. some stuff there before it falls through the hole. It's interesting that I've noticed the uh, the the meteors from the little moon that's yeah, shooting down. The hollow uh, they, lantern. Hollow lantern. Um they they destroy things kind of randomly. So like sometimes mm. a bridge that's useful to get to the hang city will fall immediately and you have to find the long way around. But other times it will fall much later. Yeah, I I know that like pieces of the pieces of the of Brittle Hollow just kind of fall into the black hole. And I did notice that the um, 
yeah, the lantern kind of throws meteors down onto it. And I thought there might be some connection, like the meteors like break pieces off, but I wasn't sure. But uh, yeah, that's if you shoot right. your uh, your probe onto a piece of land, it'll oh, tell it... you how close it is to falling. Yeah, the um, the structural integrity, right? Integrity or something. I did. I did do that with the tower, and I saw that like yeah, structural integrity was getting lower and lower as it got closer to uh, to falling. <laughs> that's annoying. That's annoying that like pieces just fall. What did, what did I Oh, it was in um it was on Ember Ember Twin that I went and I found the I think it's called the gravity cannon, the thing that like shoots the probe out. And gravity cannon? Yeah, you know, there it's like a big sort of um mesh tube looking structure. Oh, right, like a launch pad thing. Yeah. Like, uh, you, I, I've, I went down there just to see what it was about, and I was like, okay, it does a little probe thing, and it shoots the probe thing out. Okay, gotcha. And then right behind it, there's, like, a sign that's, like, Sunless City this way, but there's just, like, a cactus in the way, and it's like, yeah. I, can't, I cannot, this impassable obstacle is just, there's, uh, unfortunately, the Sunless City is blocked by a cactus, so. <laughs> okay, can't Gotta go it. the long way around. Gotta go the long way around. Oh well. Uh I'm trying to think I'm trying to think uh what else I've discovered. Oh, I mean I found the, the dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. It took me many times visiting it before I, I had I you know what? I think it was while I was reading How Do I Solve the the Frickin' Quantum Puzzle. I think something in there jogged me to try shooting the probe into the dark bramble seed, and then I'm like, oh okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so now I have to go back and I have to try that again in the... What What are the aliens called? Like the old... The Nomai. The Nomai Grave. I have to go back and I have to try it at the, the Dark Bramble Seed at the Nomai Grave. Because I know there's like a bunch of different seeds that have the same... Well, that seed on Timber Hearth has the harmonica sounds coming out of it. Uh, because I guess it connects to a place near where what's his name is playing the harmonica, and there's some other sound coming out of the seed that the Nomai grave is around, and I guess it's because it's near their ship, like it connects to a seed that landed near their like ship. So I have to investigate that. Um. Oh, I went to oh the like the first thing I did. I think, like, the very first thing I did was I landed on the interloper. And... Oh, the, the, the comet? Yeah, because I saw the comet was going by, and I was like, whoa, 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 there's a comet? Like, that's weird. All these planets look boring. We gotta <laughs> check out this comet. I should, like, maybe go back and investigate it again, because, yeah, that was the first thing I landed on. And I found, oh, I found the ship, like, frozen on the on the, the far side of it. And... I don't really remember. I remember there was cryptic messages. I don't really remember what they said. Uh, l- later, I think it's on the quantum moon. No, I- in one of the gravity cannons. Uh, either the t- uh, there's one on Timber Hearth and there's one on Brittle Hollow. In one of them, you can like recall that probe from the interloper. Yes, and then you can go inside. Yes, and I did that. So I fir- I found it on the interloper, and then later I used the the gravity cannon and I summoned it. Uh, and I don't know. I don't think I found anything else on the interloper, but maybe I should check it out again. Uh, what a game. I'm glad you like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Um. How'd you rate the, uh, the space travel? Space travel is, it can be a little annoying, but when it's annoying, it's usually, like, my own fault. Like, like, it's my fault that I, uh, you know decided to spend a long time like trying and failing to land on the sun the sun station it's my fault that i spend a long time like trying to catch up to that stupid little blue thing uh game didn't make me do that so i can't hold it against the game uh oh my god i think like there was one time i crashed into something i think it might have been like pieces around the white hole and it like dis it it disabled my autopilot and it disabled some of my thrusters, so like I was no longer able to like fly straight. 
and that sucked <laughs> so bad. Have you uh, ever tried to like get out of your ship in the middle of space and like repair it and then get back in? Y- yes. I think that is what I ended up doing that time. Uh it's qu- it's very it's very annoying. Some sometimes I'll like get out and then I'll have to like be like shit I can't find where I'm supposed to repair and then I have to go inside, sit down at the cockpit, look at the like ship diagram to see like where is the damage then like okay. And I go back outside. You know what I haven't tried to do? I have not tried to leave the ship in like a in, in an inhospitable environment without my suit on. I assume I would die. Uh, uh haven't, haven't tried to do it. I mean, you'd die if you can't breathe. If there's no yeah. oxygen. If I like went out in space and I didn't put my suit on and I opened the hatch, would I like die instantly or would I get sucked out? You wouldn't get sucked out. I think you would I've seen it happen. Actually, I don't... I think I met, must have done it once. Because I was getting frustrated with th- this thing. Like, oh, I fucking... I think it was probably Ember Twin trying to get into the city yeah. quickly. And I'm like, okay, go, 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 go. Land, 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 yeah. get out. Oh, I didn't put my suit on. You just sort of walk around for a bit and you can hear him, like, struggling to breathe. And then Oof. his eyes close. Uh, I am at... I am at... I don't know. Does it... Did, I assume it, like varies based on which planet you're on like maybe some of them you die faster than others maybe it's i wouldn't want to try it because it's so it's like so morbid yeah it's funny so many so many of the planets have like have trees that give you oxygen like so like most most of them have at least some place where like trees have successfully grown and there's oxygen that you can breathe which yeah, is surprising, it's nice. but it's okay. I can suspend my disbelief about that. Yeah, it's just sort of like an easy um, respite sort of moment. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes like you're traveling on a planet and you have to be away from your ship for a long time. And there's no oxygen. Mm-hmm. And so you will just run out unless there's a little place where you can rest and get some more. When I was, yeah, when I was finding, um, I was following the Nomai, like, uh, Riding uh, towards the sunless city, and there's the little like part where they're like, "There's trees over here. Like you can go refill your air over here, but like, be quick about it because like this the sand is falling." And it's like, yeah, it's true, it's true. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I know that like the Nomai all really want. They want to find the eye of the universe. I don't know why. I don't know like what it's supposed to do. Just that like they all they they seem to want it. And, yeah, there's um yeah the the, the uh, there's hints around in some things uh, that it's just sort of like they're a very curious race and they yeah. found this amazingly impossible thing. So they're like we got to find this. Mm-hmm. It's sort of I mean, like, I get it. I know, would I, a parallel yeah. to you as the player being an explorer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I know, um, and I know, yeah, if, I know the quantum moon goes there. It's the it's the sixth location. So ugh, now I got, I I made I made myself stop uh, playing it for a little while because I wanted to work on my stupid video some more. So that's why I have that's why I have uh, unexplored territory uh no nah, it's a great no nah, it's a great game i'm glad you recommended it to me it's really awesome <laughs> hell yeah yeah when you finish it i'd love to talk a little more in depth about like things because I'm, sure. I'm holding my breath and being like ah ah i can't say anything so i assume i assume the end is when i reach the eye of the universe uh i guess i'll i'll know when i you you seem to you seem to know like there's a definitive end so i assume i will yeah. also eventually know what there's, the end there's is there's technically like 3 or 4 endings mm. but there's they're not like um obvious as endings they're just sort of like the, the, mm-hmm. the when you find the ending it's it's very obvious that it's the end yeah okay no i definitely have not uh definitely have not got there but i'm on i'm on the case i'm on the trail um uh yeah this 
the 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 whole um like it's it's surprisingly you know it's nice that they give you a little they give you autopilot options and they give you the like match speed options without I those it, the, it would be so yeah. annoying the but, match speed is what i like using the autopilot i found doesn't know when to start slowing down properly if uh, if like the if the thing is like if if i'm clicking on dark bramble or something and it's like going away from me mm. or if it's coming towards me it'll be sort of the autopilot yeah. would like stop at the same time every time and so it wouldn't always work yeah. so i just do manual i i kind of like how it controls manually it's sort of an enjoyable yeah. experience and if everything's going all sh- like tits up i just press the a button until i'm like in lockstep with the the thing going around the sun i, I can get my bearings the, the the match speed button is basically the like if you're on a planet it's basically like the stop moving button yeah uh, like if you're if i don't know if you're getting tossed around like a rag doll or something match speed is like just slow down make everything stop <laughs> spinning uh yeah autopilot can fuck you over like i i, I did end up uh, falling into the sun a couple of times because the autopilot because the sun just happened to be between me and whatever I was. Going yes, to. yes, that's the sort of thing it does. L- like, Lamal. Oh, it, the thing you want to get to is straight through the sun so, as the crow flies, <laughs> as the it, space crow. It can, it can, it can, it can just put you in the sun. It can, yeah, it can sort of under compensate for like the fact that like the thing is already coming at you if it can it sort of fails to account for like like uh like like the twins are orbiting each other so like you'll match one but like the other one will still be kind of like spinning it'll, around it'll be spinning around like like bonk you on the head yeah yeah i i, I use the autopilot if i'm like really far away from something like I think I was out by like the white hole, and I'm like, okay, well, I want to go to Brittle Hollow, and I'm like, okay, well, it's it's right there, so I don't want to like fly there myself. Uh, so I used the autopilot, and I went and I took a pee, and I was mostly there by the time I came back. Yes, um, so sometimes it works. <laughs> uh, yeah, but when when you when you described it, I thought I, there was like a lot of like. Okay, you really gotta like align your trajectories, and like, not really. The, the no, the, not really. The, the game, it's... the game, pretty much gives you the option to. There's basically an align trajectories button, which just makes it pretty painless. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun, though. It is. I, I've, I think, um, without like all of the cool gravity stuff and the the space flight, mm-hmm. it would it would be a little more like run of the mill. Yeah, like, uh, something or other. All of the all of the cool space, um, you know, the quantum stuff and the mm-hmm. the the gravity and the ser- the spherical planets that you can just walk along and you can just. It feels yeah. weird that the sun is so big and feels so close, but you actually fly there and it's a lot further away, even though it's not as far away as it really should be. Yeah, but it's like it's 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 like you can just sit on a on a planet and just watch stuff happening, and it's like wow. Yeah, you just watch. Uh, you can just watch the Adel Rock like go between you and the sun, and it's like, oh yeah, it oh, casts it a goes. shadow on you as it flies past. Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, you when like when like yeah, you can see like it goes from day to night because like the planet occludes the sun. It's like, oh yeah, hmm, celestial phenomena. There, there they go. Uh, so cool. <laughs> uh made me um i don't know i saw a an article on i think it was on twitter about how like i guess they proved oh they proved some quantum shit recently they proved uh what is it that like the universe is not quote unquote locally real now that sounds interesting what does that mean it uh i i i, I was very frustrated because the article explaining it only let me read the first bit and then it was paywalled. So ah. I didn't get to, I didn't get to read the full explanation. Near as I can tell, it um I think they like they prove they 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 experimentally confirmed Bell's theorem and it's something about quantum entanglement and like 
basically like the 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 fact that like a a waveform is not collapsed until it is observed and something something quantum entanglement like there were predictions made based on that and they have like experimentally verified that, like yes the predictions were accurate uh entanglement is real uh the waveform it's collapsed so fucking weird yeah <laughs> i it's i i like i obviously have not looked into quantum physics uh any with any like real depth but yeah. just the 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 you know the sentence something doesn't really exist in any like like uh measure like unless it's observed doesn't really exist or yeah you can't it doesn't act the way it would unless you're looking at it well like how what yeah but i boggling. mean but i mean it's only it's only at like it's only at quantum scales that that is like ever really true though it's just it's, so funny. Like it, it seems like magic that if you if there's an eyeball on it, it's doing something different as soon as you look away. Well, it's you know it sounds really spooky, and like it would be spooky if it were if it were like acting that way at like macroscopic scales, like on like everyday objects that we experience. But like the the, the fact that it only the fact that like quantum phenomena is only happening at like you know angstrom scale things of that size 10 to the negative 10 meters meters wide it's like eh, what's what's even going on with that shit anyway you know like <laughs> stuff stuff that size is like so far out of our experience that like oh it oh it acts weird like oh it acts spooky like well <laughs> what else is new i don't know it's uh, uh, like it's, it's all it's already like fucking fucking uh bizarre you know sure you know it's just it's just i don't know what observing how that acts on something to make it yeah different yeah there's um i was always a little confused about that like what like what counts as observing like you take a picture of it or you you get video fi- like some sort of um interference that you can measure in some way like oh like waveforms you, you you can see this or yeah. that I, I think i tried to i think i tried to ask a professor or two this about this in college and i never really got i'm not sure if i never got a satisfactory explanation or maybe i just never understood the explanation properly but like um it's 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 a, yeah like 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 okay does it's not it's not about like human understanding, right? It's not the fact that like a human understands the state of a of a of a of a pot particle that like collapses its waveform. I think it's about like its interactions with other things. Like if it if it passes through like a a wire loop and it creates an electric current by doing so, like that is the sort of event that like collapses its waveform and like confirms what state it was in i i think i like think it, it's a, like it's only after the fact do you know what it was doing <laughs> or something yeah well it was well it was not doing it was not it was neither doing that nor not doing it before it was in a superposition of doing it and not doing it until it happens and then an observable effect occurs you know it it creates the current and then it's like okay but you know it, the, it just the, sort of it, it makes me feel like it's on some level existence is like as a personality and it just decides certain yeah, things it i don't know if i don't know because to me i guess what i always wondered was like hang on if it's just about like if like an if a particle can have an interaction with like a, other particles or it can have an interaction with its environment and it's that interaction that like causes it to collapse its waveform uh then like sh- surely it's interacting with with its environment all the time right like every particle with mass is having a gravitational effect or or any particle with charge is having an electromagnetic effect and they're like shouldn't ever isn't every particle constantly interacting with every other particle by like these these forces so like why why isn't everything's waveform collapsing all the time because like two charged particles are constantly you know affecting one another's uh uh trajectories 
So I never, I never quite got it. <laughs> yeah, Co- it's commenter, like, it's commenter, like... commenters, please explain uh, quantum, uh, <laughs> quantum entanglement uh, to me. This, is this it was, like this was a question like, I never, I never quite understood how this worked. Is it like um, they don't exist in the same way in time that we experience, like time do, linearly? Do you know about um? Oh fuck! Oh shit! What are they called? Uh, hang on. Like, it's very obviously different from Schrodinger's cat. Like, oh, is the cat alive or dead? Well, the cat is alive or dead, it's just that we don't know. But quantum is like, it was neither or is neither until you look at it. Um... It it could be both. Damn it, fuck. What are the... the, Okay, the, the double slit experiment. Yeah, the double slit experiment is the experiment... They shoot electrons through and they can... they. Observe well, it being in two places at once, or something. Well, well, well. It was photons. Or it photons. Was pho- it was photons first, and then oh, was it was it the bell? Basically, yeah. You you shoot the photons through the double slit experiment, and they give a, a pattern. The result of of photons going through the double slit gives a wave pattern that, but that was expected because we knew that wave the photons and light had a wave formation the spooky thing was then they tried it with electrons and they found the same wave form and it's like well what the fuck why is that happening and the reason why is because the electrons are also waves but they're waves of probability uh uh and it's 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 not it's not like like the light the light has a wave pattern of amplitudes that was constructively and destructively interfering with itself the electrons had the same thing but it's not about their amplitude and like their intensity or whatever it's about their the probability of where they are which was like the what what the what the fuck is that i just Shit, don't get it uh i mean it's 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 elementary it's simple it's it, it's literally just this it's literally just that a particle does not have a location what it has instead is a wave in space, and that wave represents where it is likely to be. And when you measure its location, it will be somewhere, and that wave defines where it is likely to be. But, it's, but, it, but until it's measured, it exists across the entire wave. So Simple. it's like, it's like a, a big old cloud of... Um, electron, but when you take a picture of it, it's just a tiny dot on one part of the image. Yes, 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 yes. It it becomes the dot after you take the picture, but before that, it was See, it what? was smeared. It was smeared across space in a probability distribution. See what that it implies to me is that like it it is not like traveling through time the same way. Like it like it's at at any one amount of time or whatever. It's in all places. Why is it? It's why is a measure? I mean, a measurement is just a single number. So it's, like, it's not. It's not it's in all them. places. It is. It's in a superposition of all places. You fool! <laughs> it's completely oh. different. <laughs> oh, well, hey, whatever. At least I didn't need to look up the quantum stuff in Outer Wilds. The Davison, it was the the Davison experiment, I think is what they called, when they fired the electrons at the double slit. And, no, Young's. It was Young's experiment that was like, they observed, oh, the same sort of wave phenomena as a photon, but with electrons. Um, uh, 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 shit, I was going to say something. I was gonna, Oh, you ever seen, um, you ever seen... Okay, you know about, you know, atoms, they draw them with like, oh, it looks like a solar system. There's the nucleus at the middle, and then there's the orbiting electrons around. But you know that yeah, that's not really the, what they look like. No, they, yeah, that's they look the like... illustration for explanatory, surely, po- but the, the, yes. the, the electron is just sort of like like a big C, a cloud, a, a yes. ball of, of charge. And it, it's, and, and the, like the, the reason why... You know, you look at those those um you look at those freaking like graphs and they have all these like weird crazy like lumpy shapes. You know what I mean? Uh the I electron- don't know. Uh hang hang on, hang on. Um I think they're called valence clouds. I think I saw a YouTube video trying to explain the why atomic orbital electrons do that. Uh 
they have um I mean so- something like this. Like uh ugh, fucking my internet is being weird again. Uh there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think I did see like a, a YouTube video trying to like express these things in like 3D modeling mm-hmm. to make it more understandable. Mm-hmm. I don't remember who did that and I can't I don't think it made sense to me, but well um, Yeah, I've seen these before. Okay. You ever All right. You know how if you hold a rope at two ends and you shake it, you can get it to like do you know what I'm talking about if I say like a harmonic? Um like Wait, well you vibrates. know well you well you know about music. You know about like how a how a, a, a string, string will and you know about yeah. how it can vibrate at different harmonics, right? Um like it can vibrate um Is that different from frequencies? It's related. Uh Oh god. <laughs> it's all Like yeah. I know that on a on a single guitar string there are like different sounds that make up a single note. And yes, are, like I think harmonics. Yes, well, well, you can, you can have, well, you can, you can shake the same string, you can shake it at different frequencies, but only at a limited number of frequencies, and that represents like the different. It's the same note at different octaves. Right. Uh, look, look at, look at, look at this image. Behold, behold this image. You know what I'm I mean? Looking. Yes. Uh, you can shake a string. And you can you can you can shake the string, and you can shake it so that it, like the wave in the string is like fat in one spot, or two spots, or three spots. Why not four? Well, you could do four too. But the point is, you can't you can't have a fraction, right? You can't have you can't have two and a half. You can't have one and a half. It has to be uh, like a whole number. Because it has to end at the same spot. Yes, 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 yes. That it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, all right, so like that's that's true of like waves on a string. It's also true of like electron uh, position uh, probability waves. So this is this this image right here. This is like the the theoretically most simplistic model for uh, what's for solving the Schrodinger equation. Is imagine you had an electron that could only exist in one dimension, like in a straight line, and you put it in a box with infinite potential energy on both sides, and it could only travel like in one direction, up and down in the straight line inside of this box, and it can't go outside these these walls. And if you put an elect, theoretically, if you put an electron in that situation, it has to bounce between these walls, and it bounces in in these harmonics. Like it has, like depending on how much energy you give it, it has these same wave patterns. It has like one one wave or two or two wave or three wave, and it has to have a whole number, just like waves on a string. And that wave is like its position; it's the superposition of its uh, of of where it might be if you measure its position. And it and it the reason why the electron cloud around these these hydrogen wave functions these atomic orbitals the reason why a, a, an atom looks all weird and lumpy like these hydrogen waves is because I mean if you take that box and you just make it a sphere you make it a spherical well <laughs> it just when you when you solve for those wave shapes. Uh, and you put it in a spherical well, as in the case of an electron orbiting around a an atom that it is electromagnetically attracted to. Just when you solve for the wave shapes, they look like this. They look like these weird, like curvy, lumpy lines, and that's why atoms are all weird and lumpy looking. <laughs> that's why they have weird clouds around them. I, I. So you get see, it. it's <laughs> elementary. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just imagine this. Okay, you 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 pluck a string and it and it shakes and it has waves in it, right? Mm-hmm. Well, now take that string and instead of being a straight line, um, curve it around so it's a, a loop, and then like Im- a ring. Yes, and then imagine imagine like twanging it so it it's vibrating, and right. now the, and now the waves are like going around the loop in a circular pattern, and then now imagine. You okay? Well, instead of just a one-dimensional string around a circle, make it three-dimensional. Make it a spherical membrane, and then you like twang it, and it vibrates, right? And now the waves are in three D, but they still have to like 
they have to follow, you know, the shape of the membrane. And I mean, that's basically what's going on with electrons orbiting. <laughs> yeah, it's basically uh, what's going on. I, I mean, more or less, yeah. I mean, well, then... I'm 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 yeah, stuck on like yeah. imagining twanging a spherical object that waves. Like where does it start and end? Well, did you ever you know? um in gym class did you ever play with like that big like parachute? Uh yeah. I mean um you can imagine I mean it's hard to it would be difficult to like solve I can, for I the wave s- function, but you can imagine like a, a three-dimensional or, or or a two dimensional membrane like kind of wiggling and vibrating, right? In sort of the same way as a string does. Well, like if I take a, a ruler and I hold it at both ends, and you know, it's a, like a plastic ruler, and I can bend it down and up. That's like a waveform, what? right? You t- you t- I'm trying to imagine it because I can't. I can't do it in three D. I mean, like yeah, if, I, I, I mean, yeah, you can't. It's hard to like, like really like, get like a clear image of like exactly what it looks like. Because it, you know, a waveform goes up and down, mm-hmm. and there are two like on this diagram here with the ends. There are two ends to it, but on a sphere, where do the ends go? Well, I what, mean, it, what's what's the beginning and the end of the wave? Does yeah, it all just shrink really... and grow? Like it just vibrates up and like the entire thing gets smaller and bigger? I, I think it probably looks something like. Um... I mean, you know, when you're blowing bubbles, right? You ever make, like, a big bubble, and, like, you, you form the bubble, and it's kind of, like, wiggling? Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it would probably look like that. Okay. The, like, the surface of the bubble is just kind of wiggling. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> uh, is this what it was like being taught by Ben Saint? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Probably. That's why I got fired. <laughs> uh, Mr. Saint, I'm fucking... I hate science. I don't get it. Just just imagine... Just picture the wiggling bubble. Just just think, just think, picture the... Form the bubble in your mind. Now make the surface wiggle. Now solve Schrodinger's <laughs> equation. Everybody get out your bubble-blowing equipment. Mm, mm. Um... That would have been a cool thing if a science teacher came up and was like, all right, here's an atom. He blows a bubble. And everyone was like, ooh, look at that. I mean, I mean, uh, I, ne- I never had it explained to me that way. I'm just I'm just trying to think like how I think about it. And I mean, that seems like a. When, when I that that makes sense to me to explain it that way. I mean, it's the the the, the reality is more complicated because in addition, to, because uh, uh, what do you say? Um. The electron does not actually exist in a two-dimensional spherical membrane. It can also move in and out. So it's actually like a three-dimensional cloud shape, right? But I mean, mm. you Im- you imagine going from a one-dimensional string to a two-dimensional spherical membrane, and it's like, okay, that's one step. And then if you wanted to make it even more complicated, then you, you would ele- ex- ex- exas- not exacerbate, um, not elaborate, um, extrapolate. You know, you know, extrapolate in one more dimension into a, a three dimensional spherical well. Uh, three dimensional? I thought the bubble was three dimensional. Yeah, I mean it is because it's in. Okay, okay, but it's that, curved. Yeah, but imagine if when I say three dimensional, like um, okay, but but if you're imagining the bubble, the bubble, then it's only a a two D. Or it's a it's a flat plane, even though it's curved. But I mean, the 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 atom, the electron, is not limited to just traveling along, you know, a spherical surface. It can also go in and out. You ever see um. You ever see like a like a. Like a picture of space, and then there and it's like a grid, and you put like. An object Space like a plane, thing? yeah, and, yeah. It, and it forms like a, like a pit, like it falls into a hole. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a black the hole. Gravity, or something. yeah, curves space time around itself. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just that's like a two dimensional representation, but like actually, the gravity is not in two D; it's in three D. Like the curve is more complicated than just the flat plane. So it's like that. It's like uh, there's there's we're representing it in two D. But actually, there's a third dimension 
but it's just it's just hard it's like too hard to visualize mm, mm, nods nods to self <laughs> Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds, baby. Uh, so what I'm saying, so what I'm saying <laughs> is that if you stand on top of an electron and you turn your flashlight off, uh, <laughs> when you turn it back on, you'll be somewhere else. You'll be on the other <laughs> side of the atom. Uh, true. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I think, I think I've made a lot of pro i think i've played it for about a i've been playing it on and off for about a week and change and i haven't played it in a few days because i've been crunching on my stupid video uh but as soon as the video is done i'll probably jump back into that and finish up hey, some more stuff can't wait yeah um i i should have had the video done by now but it's becoming it's becoming more and more torturous uh to work on it i hate it more and more every time so uh I'm I'm dealing with that. You know you know what's the worst part about it is um the audio levels because um I was talking into the microphone so there is times when I'm not talking as directly into the microphone and I I've been going through the clips and I try to adjust the audio a bit here and there to like make the quiet parts louder and the loud parts quieter and just try and keep it as even as I can, and there's parts where it gets really finicky, and like I have to make adjustments like every few seconds. Like parts isn't were, that like yeah. um like compressing the audio? Co compressing you... helped. Compressing helped, but it didn't like. There's still, I mean, imagine me standing in front of a whiteboard, and I'm talking at the camera and I'm speaking into the microphone and then I turn around to look at the board and now I'm not speaking into the mic anymore and now it's like quiet and muted and then I turn back around and I start speaking into the mic again and then back and I look away and then back and I look towards it and there's parts where like I'm doing that for a while and every time that happens like I try to like okay I'm gonna try and boost the boost the quiet part boost the quiet part and I'll, and I'll have to cut it up into pieces I don't know, maybe there's a more efficient way to do it. But, and like, I did compress and normalize the audio, and it did help, and it made it more listenable. But there's still parts that, like, benefit from a little manual boosting here and there. It makes and it's sense. just tedious. Yeah. Hmm. I think, uh, you know, when you're doing a long video like yeah. that, yeah. I mean, this is just me. But I would just I would do as little touching up as I could. If so, if if my if I'm literally unintelligible, then I should I would go in. Yeah. Maybe like add text if it's like the mic just cut out or it's just really just can't hear me. But like going through like a multi-hour thing, micromanaging the levels. Yeah, that's a lot. There's there's de there's definitely diminishing returns, and I'm trying. I'm trying not to get too hung up on it because like no matter yeah no matter how long I spend on it it'll it'll never be perfect but at the same time like when I hear a part that like oh I'm like noticeably quieter at this quieter at this part I'm like oh, well, I don't want well, I don't want that it's like uh yeah I've been I've been <laughs> I don't know I've been sinking time into doing that also uh there's um Damn, there's like, there's there's parts where I'm like, okay, I want to show something on screen, but like, the, and the, again, there's diminishing returns. There's like, if I wanted to, I could I could be putting up like images on screen like all the time. I could be like constantly showing something and taking it off. And uh, I've re I think yesterday I was like, I gotta stop. Like I gotta I gotta not. I don't need I don't need to show some every time I mention something. It's okay to just show it one time and then just leave it. I was thinking about like putting up screenshots of the of the of well, I don't want to say what. <laughs> I almost I almost spoiled it. Um but uh I was thinking about putting up screenshots of some particular thing and lots and lots of examples of this particular thing and I'm like, "No. I can't. I can't let myself do it. It would be if I if I if I did that, I would have to do more so i gotta i gotta call it 
at some point. I got to call it like, no, that's enough. <sighs> I, I have. Yeah, I have. Um, I, I passed the six hour mark of like edited, completed stuff yesterday. Oh, damn. Yeah, I have six hours that are basically done. Like, I, I'll, I'll need to, like, give it a final listen through and, like, see if I have anything that's, like, fucked up and needs tweaking. But theoretically, six hours of it are done, and there are, like, a little less than two hours left to go. I had to add a bit, big um th- three or four minute, like, explanation of something. So I, I keep adding little bits of explanation that are making it a little bit longer and a little bit longer. It's not looking like it's going to hit eight hours. I would be over. I would be happy if it hit eight hours, but I don't think it will. Uh, <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> I feel. I mean, yeah. Six hours of of edited content. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of work. You're it's, getting through it. It's taken me more than a month now. I've sp- I didn't ex- I didn't anticipate spending more than a month just on the editing, but I have. And you know what? It's okay. It's fine. I think. You yeah. know what? Without. I don't. Oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it because it'll spoil it. I guess I'll just say I realized the thing that the lecture is about. There's not too long before I think it will. Have a little bit of a resurgence. I have there's there's reason to believe that like in the not too distant future this thing is going to see coverage mainstream media coverage and I think mm. about that and I'm like wouldn't it be amazing if the video did well and then there's like a big like media sort of surge around it and that and it's positioned at that time to get like a ton more views based on that and like I could see that happening and that is like i got i got to keep going i got i got to push through i got to have the video out the sooner i have the video out the more likely that is to happen and i want that the sooner you have the video out then the longer you will have to never work on it that's true that's true there's i mean there's that's two good reasons one the sooner it's out the sooner it can start accumulating views and the more views it will have by the time that it stands to maybe gain a little bit of mainstream media reflected limelight so to speak so like getting it out sooner is is strategically optimal for that reason also i just want it to be done i want the nightmare to end so you know there's two excellent reasons two excellent reasons I've I've definitely slowed down. I've definitely been struggling to like continue to force myself to look at it. Uh just on an emotional level, it's becoming harder and harder to keep going. I'm, tr- I'm trying to fight through it. <laughs> hmm. I I'm my week was um yeah. My week was not very pro- uh, productive at all. My I I, would, I, I, I had a bit it, of yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a bit of a depression moment. Mm. And I sort of didn't do anything. Okay. Um, but more recently, um, like the last few days, I think it's it's uh it's the difficulty of like giving myself praise for the things that I do well. I saw you tweet something about like praising yourself through gritted teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like when I do something well, it's um. It's never like, oh, good. It's like about time you did that. You took too long. Like that's my first thought. Um, and when I do something bad, it's like, oh, that's expected because you suck. It's just sort of like negative, one way or the other. I've, I've damned met- if you do, damned if you don't, sort of thing. I've mentioned it before, but I had that. I had that thermodynamics professor who was like a Buddhist, and he told us like, when you solve a physics problem, you know, take the time. You know, feel good about it. Let yourself feel good about it. Yeah, um, it's yeah. it's it's a very important thing. I've yeah. been I've been trying to like give myself praise for like the small things that I managed to do. Mm-hmm. And sure. uh it's really hard. Yeah. So I hope you do that. I hope you feel good about what you are accomplishing. Mm, I you know the 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 fact that it has been more and more of a struggle has made it been like like the 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 slower progress goes, 
the the more like I can look back and be like, I accomplished more a week ago than last week than I did this week. You know, yeah, but it looks it looks spinning. worse. It looks worse and worse in comparison. <laughs> the slower it it goes, so it's becoming yeah, it's that... becoming harder and harder to feel good about it. Because like the first week, I'm like, oh yeah, I added like three hours of it. That's like almost half done. And then two weeks later, I'm like, oh, it took me like almost three weeks to get another three hours. Ugh, Blech. you know. I do know, but I also know that it's it's probably uh, not helping things to, yeah. to 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 increase like the negative feelings you have towards yourself and it the longer it goes yeah i i am um, i'm a little concerned actually that like part of the reason it has gone slower and slower is maybe i've what if i've become more and more like stringent about like what audio blips i need to correct and like how much uh, visual info i need to add and therefore i will get slower and slower as i'm doing it and then i will be like okay done now to go back and give it a final listen and then i'll realize oh the the early part i didn't do as much work on as the later part and now the early part feels sloppy and i need to <laughs> correct it some more I to, I think just to you make it match. Let that go. I think you got to let that go just because of the yeah. extreme length of the video. That's always going to happen. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like a, a, like an artist drawing a comic. The early pages are going to look worse than the the most recent ones. <sighs> that's just... Are they going to go yeah. back and redo everything every time they incre- increase in skill? Yeah. Or like nah, learn a different right. way of doing things? No, nah, I think I think that's probably true. It's o- it's okay if it's not completely like s- buttery smooth consistent all the way through there have there have definitely been points recently where i've needed to add like kind of a lot of like additional info but i think there's a reason for that i think i think it's i think it's justifiable based on the material that i'm talking about that's not like my standards change. That's like, okay, no, this this part requires further elaboration in a way that previous parts did not. So, like, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Working. Working. Twerking. Working. Just working. Maybe this week... I know I, I sound like a broken record, but maybe this week it'll be done. <laughs> I say that every week. It uh, is... It is a... a a catchphrase. Ugh. My my old catchphrase was end of the month. That was um when I was talking about when I used to do like endless war coding stuff, I would always say, Oh yeah, this feature will be done by the end of the month. Ugh, that was a bit of a meme. That was a bit of a meme. I have no idea when things I used to have that with like um I mean it's just making a deadline and being like, I could probably do that, and then realizing you can't, mm. and then feeling bad about it. And it's, uh... Yeah. Sucks. I well, don't have much to say on it, really. Well... It's just hard to know exactly, like, what is... What is the perfect deadline? Is it a good or a bad thing it's... to expect yourself to get something done by a certain point? Or not? Is it? Is it motivational, say... or is it purely destructive? I think if you have no deadlines at all, you'll ne- you'll never get anything done. I think it's probably okay to have dead. It's probably better to have deadlines and fail to meet them because most of the time, at least in pursuing that deadline, even if you fail to meet it, usually you'll at least have done something. the de- The deadline will have made something happen. If not, sure. then I mean that's bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, for yeah. for me, the the thing with the giving myself praise is like, it's sort of like a a a way to get out of, um, like, cause if if I let myself feel bad for long enough, uh, it'll come down to like, well, you're certain years old, and you could have been so much more if you had only started when you were twelve. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of like, well, I can't do anything about that, you know. Sort of like mm. the deadline, um, the the feeling of deadline, the feeling of having missed a deadline and be feeling bad about it, can sort of 
fully encompass you and make you paralyzed. Mm. And I'm like, uh, giving yourself praise for like having done something is like a good, I don't know, like a a bit of a boost sure. to continue making progress. Sure. Yeah. I hope that um I get better at stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, things I've made already are good. But I was just last this this last week just like really critical, and then just what the, I just, what just, I just you, stopped. What were you being critical of, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I think it was partly uh, work related. Like, oh, I'm so slow. Mm -hmm. Um, some some sort of thing reminded me Ow. of feelings of like super inadequacy of being. You know, I'm too old to Damn. be only just now getting stuff done. Super inadequacy. Damn. That's so much, be <laughs> that's so much better than my inadequacy. Ugh, I'm <laughs> useless. <laughs> Wait, give, yeah. me, give me five seconds to grab a sparkling water. Okay, I'm back. Um, I forgot exactly. Uh, uh, where was I? To, you were saying... Uh, oh, feelings of oh, I'm I'm too old to not be. Yeah, yeah, good, like or it's something. Like I've had feelings like that before, where it's like oh, I'm too sure. old, um, sure. and I've I've missed my chance to be good at anything. Yeah. And I was making good progress last week, and something tipped me off. I can't really even remember what my mind was doing, uh, but I just sort of fell into like a depression spiral. I was like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Everything sucks. And I don't know. I think what was most frustrating this time was that I felt like I had the tools necessary to get out of it and I couldn't do it. It was difficult. Mm. It was you, like I you mean I've you been... knew what you should be doing in order to not like, be falling into that yeah, trap. Yeah, because like yeah, because like I have the therapist now and I talk to them, you know, about once a week. And like I had felt better since then, and then I was like, you know what? I think I am capable. I I think I am capable of getting myself out of these these uh these moods mm -hmm. with tools and like mantras and like helpful little things to remember. And then it just it collapsed, and I just couldn't do it. And I'm like, what? I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought I had it. I thought I was smart now, but mm. it was it was not the case. And I got well, sucked up. I mean, uh, that's just, uh, it's, it's always like, uh, what, what does that make me think of? Like everybody, um, you, you can, even, even if you're really good at something, you can still like sometimes like forget to apply the fundamentals and then, yes. you, and then you'll fuck up. Right. And every, everybody happens to everybody. Yeah. I mean, I, I was feeling bad back then. Right now I, I'm a little better. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, I. I get what my problem was. Um, it will happen again. Right. It's just sort of like trying to deal with the the outcome better. Mm. Mm. It's like they say, like it, it. Certain things just never get better, but you get better at dealing with them. Mm. So I'm just sort of hoping that that it's true that I can, I can get uh, I can get away from depression faster and faster. Yeah. Each time. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really have, like, the, there was some more personal things in there that I don't really want to get into. Okay. Gotcha. That was part of it, but, yeah, it turns out I didn't do anything last week, uh, work-wise. I did, like, one drawing, and I put it on my Not Safe Work Twitter, and I was like, oh, that was good. Uh, I did it. I did something. You, you're I talking about, about that. You're talking about this past week since the last, uh, podcast? This past week, yeah. Yeah. Um I mean, yeah, you win some you lose some, I guess. Uh uh I'm trying to think I'm trying to think did I do anything besides fuss over my stupid video, avoided avoided my roommates. <laughs> tried to <laughs> tried to avoid becoming responsible for the gas bill. Uh, oh, you know what we could talk about? What's that? To get away from the depression stuff. Uh-huh. Um, AI-generated imagery. Oh. Let's have, a, let's have a topic. Let's have a topic about this. Uh, yeah. 
I'll say it. I don't like how some people talk about it. I think there I've seen some bad arguments against it. And I'm not a fan of it or anything, but I've definitely seen some arguments against it that I think are dumb. Like uh, what? Was like, it one of mine? You, you well, you retweeted one that I I that I kind of I didn't like disagree with it. It was it was that Sean tweet. Sean said something about Oh, yeah, I thought that was good. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because um it felt like the the argument is that like oh AI makes it too easy and things should be hard and things that are hard are good and it felt no, and it no, felt it, 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 and it felt like it felt like Calvin's dad saying like like struggling builds character. It wasn't that it was um, that there are benefits to doing the work like that the the act of making art is fulfilling in and of itself it doesn't like the end product is hyper focused on for the ai quote unquote artist mm-hmm. they don't care about like the creativity and the fun of creating art they just like when a thing is you know made i mean sure I, and uh, they they're, yeah. they're missing out is is what i got from that is that they to do ai art is to miss out on most of what makes art fun and good. I I it's I, I don't even disagree. But couldn't you say the same thing about shoveling the walk? Wouldn't Calvin's dad say the same thing about shoveling the walk though? Shoveling the walk? Like the the sidewalk? Well, you know, that's that's the thing in 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 Calvin and Hobbs. Uh yeah, yeah. the dad always I wants Calvin know, to I'd... shovel the walk. And it builds I don't remember character. That turn of phrase. But yeah, yeah. Uh, no, well I don't think it's like a it's a building character argument. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's just like um it's a shame. It's it's not it's not the main reason I dislike AI art. I dislike AI art um because the people who do it are shit that, heads yeah, yeah, that yeah, I don't yeah. like. It's the 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 bigger deal is that like the AI is made to basically just like th- thieve data from existing art. Steal. Like you know that that guy I I for, that that artist just died like this past week and like immediately people yes. were were ai generating stuff that like was like mimicking his uh his work they they train an ai by feeding it images from a certain artist yeah so that they can then create in the style of that artist more or less i mean sometimes it doesn't work but for some artists it really does you can steal an artist's entire style and put it into an ai thing yeah, and then type their name, and then generate things that look just like what they could draw. I mean, I think it. Uh, I think it's like okay as long as like everybody's clear on like that's what we're doing. Like, like as long as it's like. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like since the technology exists and it can only get better from here, um, it's not like we can stop it, it it existing yeah but like it's the 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 people behind doing shitty things are the the thing that make me upset yeah yeah it's it's the it's people profiteering off of off of it it's um the people that didn't the people that didn't actually create anything like someone who just like took that ai and maybe they did a little bit of work you know training it on these images or whatever i'm sure that took some effort but then it's like oh yeah now i own this like infinite machine for generating plagiarism of this uh of infinitely recombining and recombining the work of this artist that just died and like whatever i guess if someone wants to do that it's okay it's it's when it's like if someone were profiteering off of it that i'd be like that's gross that's horrible S- stop it yeah uh, uh it's like i've said on previous weeks it's just the fact that you need money to live and the fact that this can take potential money away from artists yeah. is like the, the that part of it is yeah. is why it's more horrible than just sort of like cheap like ah oh, this guy he's not the real artist but he makes some some ai generated things but the fact that it it really can be like a thing that makes people lose money mm-hmm. because they can't get commissions I mean, it's uh, it's still hypothetical. I haven't actually heard of a situation where that has happened, but it's hard yeah. to 
to like pinpoint like an exact amount of lost money you can just see it happening like people would if they can if the ai is good and the uh the uh the artist they steal from um is usually expensive they can make whatever they want mm -hmm. i don't know whether people would pay anyway i feel like people not... would still pay artists just I to mean, support them you can but it's like it, it, there's an there's a hypothetical like it will just happen less and that's gross uh i don't know i mean you you can you can post like you can pick and choose like ai generated images that like oh this looks good like this this looks kind of like something this someone made or this looks is like a nice image but like you can't at least where the technology is now it, you can't like generate that at will you know what i mean like you can't make you can't make the image you want you can make an image that looks good and looks like some something that someone might want but getting mm. like the exact thing you want is like hard to impossible it's... unless you're like unless what you want is like i just want something that looks like so and so drew it a and that's it that's the yeah i think that's the most annoying part is the 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 prevalence and the sort of common accepted notion among AI artists that to get the best results you really should put somebody somebody's name in there like by this this artist or by that artist yeah alongside all of your descriptive things because I've 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 dabbled just for fun to see what it could do mm -hmm. and if you don't put an artist in it is a nightmare most of the time mm. because it's drawing from like the entire Everything. internet, Google images, I like see. photographs, like it needs to narrow itself down. And so it's sort of like that's the way to do the the ones that look good is to like just steal from a go a good artist. Mm. So that it, it's not like pulling from every possible thing that a word could be referring to. What do you think about when people say like, oh well real like like artists copy other artists like like artists artists can like oh yeah i drew this in the style of so and so right like is that is that is that is that, theft? is that theft in the same way that like oh i trained this ai on on the art of so and so and it drew it it, it generated an image in the style of him i think um like legally, it would only become theft if you portray yourself as being the artist that you're copying. Mm. And then it would be like a like a lit litigation thing. If you... if an AI artist trains an AI to make something that looks like an artist's work, mm. it's it's not illegal. I can't, um, I don't know. I don't. But it's a new technology, and it's sort of weird. I feel like if I feel the technology like the fact... is just combining like... elements of. Isn't 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 that basically just sort of like taking his that person's work? I don't know. I feel like the AI is like directly combining stuff that someone else made into a new thing. Whereas like if a human being is like interpreting someone's art and trying to recreate it, there's like more of a. You mean recreate it or like use the same style? I mean, do? like try and try and draw something. Like recreate a, a recreate a style. Image. Recreate someone's style. Like, like right. or th this is my, this is, I'm drawing a new drawing, but it's in the style of so-and-so. It's my take on their style. That's the thing that yeah. people do. I think the, the, the difference I would say is that the AI does not need nearly as much time to create an image than it does for a person to draw, mm. generally speaking. Uh... So, like, it's, like... I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know. They're 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 equivalent in a lot of ways, yeah. but I I just don't like the um, I don't know. Like if the machine can do it better than the real person, yeah, like faster and and more efficiently, they can overtake that person. I don't know if an artist could like overtake another artist by copying their style. Hmm. I guess it's I think I think it's just when it's like a, a one off thing like oh I did thing in x style but if you do like many 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 images in a, in another person's style they might feel like you're copying their style and like cramping their style you you should maybe stop mm. but that's sort of like a disagreement thing it's not really a 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that usually. I, I, I generally think it's better for anyone to like find their own style. Yeah. Not because it's it's not because um like for any legal reason, it's just sort of like uh it's lame. I think it's there's... it's lame to be copying somebody. I mean I think that it's probably it's a thing that already happens that like an artist with a popular style a like small like cottage industry might crop up of people like sort of d- doing art in their style like oh it looks like this oh this is like something that so and so would draw uh i don't know i think i think that's already a thing i i just um here's it's kind it kind of bugs me uh I don't know. I I think that there's a little vein of like effort is good in and of itself. I think there's a little bit of like labor fetishization going on when people say like, "Oh, the AI makes it too easy." Uh, I think that if, yeah, I don't really care too much about that. I think that if an artist, I think that if let let's let's take considerations of like art theft and plagiarism out of it. Let's say that that was not a concern. If if an artist, if someone you could call them an artist or not, could take the AI and generate exactly the image that they had in their head just by pressing a button. Uh, I used to think that that was good. I would be like, it's okay. It's fine that you didn't have to do any work to make it. Sure. Yeah. Like, it's it's an interesting tool. It's definitely useful for um, spitballing ideas for concept art or, like, coming up with, like, I wonder how it would look if I did this sort of a thing and then you, you make some images and you're like, yeah, this gives me an idea and then you go and make it yourself or even if you don't, if you're not an artist you just want to make some cool things I think the tool is fine mm-hmm. um, I think it has potential to be misused and I think a lot of people are like, have no scruples whatsoever and will misuse it as 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 much as they possibly can for as much gain as they possibly can without consideration for anything and they will just go ahead and do that because there's no laws against it there's no like restrictions yeah so they're just going ham and it sucks um because i because i know those people are those those people suck (laughs) i i mean i'm pretty much fine with anything that anyone wants to do with it up until it becomes like ip theft and then it's at that point it's I'm not exactly sure where that line is. Uh yeah. but there's def- there's cases that are definitely over it and those are bad. Uh and I don't know exactly how you would like define where that s- starts exactly. But it's definitely bad. Uh You know the worst thing about it is that I tried to make a big booby risk image and it just couldn't do it. Oh. I typed in big booby's huge breast doesn't work. Did you um They don't <laughs> they, all those prompts that have those it. like Big Victorian here. era shit. Like uh they have those prompts yeah. and it's like filled with like a very embarrassing but very funny uh like a lot of like booby booba beautiful goddess the, the oil, like oil painting stupid, looking uh, oil painting yeah. renaissance highly realistic anime like they're just a bunch of words and I tried doing that because like I'm not going to like pretend I'm an artist for doing it but like, what if I can make a really good Vriska image? Can it be done? I wanted to see, and I couldn't. I I guess I needed to steal from more specific artists. Look, I didn't put any artists in. Uh, look at look at this one. Uh, uh, Jess posted this in my Discord, and it's really funny. Um, it's loading. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I oh. No. I looked at this and I didn't realize a uh, spork pointed out that okay, what it did here is it confused the boobs for legs. Oh, it did. Yeah. The, if you get rid of the shirt, it looks normal. It looks. Actually. It kind of looks like legs if you yeah if you crop it out. Uh, and that's actually really interesting. That's actually like a really it's, interesting it, trick that the AI played on itself there. It is like. <laughs> It's very funny when it's like almost good and then it's like freaky. Wait, I want you. Whenever to... they have like hands, there's always like three fingers or seven fingers. 
<sighs> look at look at this that uh that Merryweather posted. Um this is horrible. I actually, this one's actually like really upsetting. <laughs> I don't Is it is it doing the same thing? Like does it think the boobs are legs? I don't think so. No, I think it just sort of there's really, like a crease really and it thought there was a belly one. button. Yeah. But I, then why would they make boobs after that? I don't I don't know. <laughs> it's the funniest thing to me is the anime face looks exactly like things I've seen before. The an- yeah, the face nothing, looks totally normal. Nothing wrong with the face. The, and the, like the, the legs look totally normal. The face looks completely normal. The shoulder is a little weird and it's just the torso it just has an extra set of boobs in it. <laughs> it's like two rib cages. <sighs> God, that's freaky. Yeah, that, that one's actually kind of kind of unsettling. Um uh see like it the to- the tool is fun the tool i mean r- when everyone was going f- uh, like nuts over like the the dolly, the dolly too stuff. yeah it's like yeah you can make a weird freaky thing yeah it's just this this current trend of like certain people trying to sound and be considered more like uh what's the word like like official, like it's that they're more. Um, yeah, that 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 one that one you know guy who I mean. said that it's like AI art is real art because like I had to spend an hour and a half typing prompts into the machine before it made me this picture yeah, of an astronaut. It's just, like great. It's just sort of an embarrassing, like mindset. It reminds me a lot of NFT artists. It reminds me of a lot of crypto yeah. bros. They're just sort of yeah. They 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 fetishize. Well, um, them out. being very smart and good, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but they only want to do it through the most easiest possible means. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, that I, stuff is and really it's not, it's, frustrating. And it's but... not, it's not that like doing things in a difficult way it makes it more valid. It's just that mm-hmm. it's annoying that I am reminded of these sorts of people. Wait, wait, uh, yeah, the if it if if something is easier. There exists the temptation for some people to be like, okay, well, now I can take this, I can take this shortcut, I can do this thing, and it makes me, I mean, uh, if, if, uh, if, if something like this, if an AI, uh, generator, like, uh, makes it really easy to make art, like, I think that's okay, but, I mean, it does mean that, you know, it, it is a less skilled, job like it's true that like if if you can just type a bunch of prompts into a generator and it will generate an image that looks great and it's exactly what you want like i don't think it's wrong to do that but it it's true that like you know that that sean tweet he said like yeah the artist gain will you know he he'll he'll gain skill by doing the work and like yeah he gains skill by doing the work he gains skill at the task if you don't need to be skilled to do the task because the AI will do it for you, like, well, maybe you just don't need to be that skilled to do it anymore. But, like, that's okay because that just means that technology has made work easier. And that's good, actually, when that happens. Uh, it's good if technology makes stuff more accessible and makes it easier to do things. Gener- we should like that. Uh, you do... You do miss out you don't get as skilled you don't develop as much skill at this thing and i mean that might be negative in its own way uh there might be cases where boy i really wish that like i was more skilled as a draftsman so i could just i could i could create the image that i have in my head because ai is it's not possible with ai for whatever reason uh it's 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 not a I think, but it's it's not an it's not an evil in and of itself that like you can do some that like something becomes possible without as much work, yeah, or skill required. I I I, I agree. Okay, I I agree that the the tool existing is not a net negative for society. Um, with that it, Sean tweet, I very much focus more on like the the. Like the enjoyment of, like the fulfilling nature of creating art 
by hand. Yeah. Like I, I, or with with like more with more purpose, I suppose. Yeah. I feel like I would get like with my limited experience working with AI stuff, I feel more than anything like frustrated at the computer for not understanding what I'm trying to say and like, okay, let let me do it. And then I would draw a little sketch. Mm. And it wouldn't be as like beautiful and as uh like detailed and perfectly rendered as a lot of these images that the from artists they're stealing from, um, that these things can generate, mm -hmm. but it is more like true to what I'm I'm looking for. I feel like it's yeah the 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 path of well, that, least resistance for me like mentally is to do it myself. But that's yeah maybe just because I'm used to that. Well, that's I mean that's what is when you're looking at AI stuff, you can see lots of images that are specific that like look good, but those aren't if if you're setting out with a very particular image in mind i think it's like i don't know if any ai can do that like ever yeah <laughs> i mean maybe in the future right now it is good maybe. for like like spitballing concepts like you want uh to think I of like instead of going to google search and typing in the sorts of things that you need like inspiration for mm -hmm. you can generate an image from google images with those Im like keywords and you can get some like mishmash things and be like ah oh, yes eh. like uh that that's the sort of thing i'm looking for or like no that's too much like this but, but i'd like this one part of it like it's good for for coming up with ideas is it right now I because know. because I don't get it well because like if, you, if well, you're finding what i mean if you're, is if you're like telling the ai to generate the image surely you already have kind of you already know like the sort of thing you're looking for but you don't know what the ai will come up with because mm. the keywords are always going to be more vague like that, that that's what i mean when you have a very specific idea in mind um Going to AI and typing prompts in will not get you the image you want perfectly. It'll be like sort of weird and sort of wrong and sort of like you gotta fuck around with the prompts a lot. And it'll never be exactly what you're looking for. It'll be sort of maybe in the ballpark. But that's mm. that's the benefit of the thing, is that if you don't exactly know what you want, but you have some sort of general themes, you can throw those at the AI and they can give you a ballpark estimate of what it might look like and you'd be like yes or no like you can you can skip the 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 lengthy process of looking up a bunch of images and seeing if anything grabs your your fancy i said so that's what i think is the the benefit of it it's not to create a specific image yeah it's to like throw shit at the wall and see if anything's good i, I think it's good for like i mean uh, like for something that doesn't require a lot of specificity like a background like like man like manga backgrounds i think yeah. i think it's like that's the the most obvious use that comes to my mind like uh sort of a lot of the time it sort of doesn't matter like exactly what they look like but like maybe you just need something to and it's like a, a there's there, yeah. there's 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 artistic applications there's there's times when specificity is important and there's times when it's not and in times when specificity is not important i feel like ai is probably good and you might as well just fucking generate any old thing uh i think there's times where that's could be appropriate <sighs> it's um it's a little stressful <laughs> well just thinking about it yeah Time marches on. It's almost uh, I don't know, it's sort of unsettling to think that like it's like a new thing that like might uh uh really like change the landscape of anything. I don't like it. I don't like yeah. when the landscape changes. Like I I can hypothesize about like how industries might change, how art. Art as a skill will be like, I don't know, more difficult to get into or get money from. Like, I don't know. Mm. I feel like it's not quite good enough to, like, you couldn't animate an entire show with AI. No. Um, a lot of skill, like, you, some illustration work you can do, but it is still, like, mostly stealing mm. is the reason why I can do that. Yeah. And and you can trace them to the artist that they're stealing from quite easily, which is uh, not good. I feel like 
at the end of the day, uh, you know, art is still about, you know, an, an artist expressing a vision that they have. And like an AI can never have a vision. It can only borrow and assemble from other stuff. So yeah. like there will never be, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't like, I'm sure that AI will become more and more able to perform more and more tasks, but there will never be a, a world where like AI just makes all the art. Cause there will always be pe- pe- people need to come up with the ideas. Right, AI AI can't have ideas. Not yet. Uh, I'm trying to. Do I think it will? I don't know if it. I don't know. I don't know if it will ever be able to have ideas in the way that like a human does. I I mean I don't know enough about the technology of neural networks to un you know to say with any confidence whether or not it can't do that in the future. Mm. I know it can't right now. It's very much in like it's still gathering data from people like general like ais of of many types rely he- heavily on on human input there's to 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 like learn things we're not even we're not even like close we're not even anywhere in the ballpark of like an ai that like thinks like a human does and no. i don't know if it's 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 like an open question whether such a thing is even like possible uh I think it could be possible just because I can't disprove it yet. I mean, sure. <laughs> me me either. But the but like we're not we're, there's like there's no there's ba- there's no even like theoretical framework for like how such a thing would come to be. So it's not it's not at all it what I'm saying is it's not at all clear that like it's a foregone conclusion that eventually AI will become human like in its capability for generating yeah thoughts and stuff you know i, I guess you you'd have to come down to like a human being learns by observing and the five six senses or whatever they 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 get data from the moment they're born and they don't know what the fuck they're doing but like over years and years they figure stuff out but it's not just that because they have instincts as well mm. so like a pre-programmed set of like things like when they're hungry they cry they don't know why they do that but like um like i don't think in any short time frame something could be approached but like i think hypothetically if an ai is like left to to grow and learn through many many generations to the extent that it's like mimicking the the human civilization from like when we crawled out of the sea Mm -hmm. like that because i've seen i've seen some they're not like about ai necessarily well they are i guess but like um like learning algorithms where they have uh like a a funny stick with legs and the goal it is to make it to get walk to make it walk and over thousands and thousands and thousands of generations the the ones that get furthest um mm-hmm. are passed on and the genes that don't do that are deleted and slowly it evolves to become good at walking mm-hmm. even though no instructions were given on how to do that mm-hmm. so like hypothetically that system applies to learning algorithms yeah might make it more yeah able to come up with unique thoughts mm-hmm. I just don't know on what time so. frame or, or how like how difficult that would be to actually do. Mm, I mean, that's you're talking about performing a very specific limited task of like move from A to B. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like there is no we'd have to come up with its own instincts. We'd have to program its DNA and the goals it has. Like for humans, the goal is like um uh, survive, procreate, because that's how we got here, and that's just sort of what we want to do. Mm, right. And and all of the other things are related to surviving, so that we can procreate. We feel good when we are full, and we like to drink water. 
It feels nice. Mm. We have emotions because they help us decide what to do. And no other reason. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I don't know. No, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think generally that's where it comes from, right? I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, ugh. Honestly, I hate, I hate this stuff. <laughs> hate, hate thinking about it. But oh well. The robots are gonna shoot you in the brain. Uh, well, somebody they're gonna to. come up to you and say, "Uh, I'm the Terminator or something." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, live with me if you want to come. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Wait a minute. Okay, I stole that. From I was gonna say you must have stolen. Don't that from think I'm smart. Somewhere, but like it, it did catch me off guard. So I mean, good job. Uh, <laughs> do you want to go to voicemails? Um, yes. I think I've said all my things. Uh, you said before we started. You said you had nothing to talk about, and I said I don't have anything to talk about either. But maybe we can just do a short episode and. uh I guess we've done kind of a normal episode, so good for us. Yeah, we always we always yeah, find something. It was, it was fun to talk about Outer Wilds. I wish on. I would keep. I would keep talking about it. I just don't know what else to say about it because um, you you got you got new things to explore. I, I have not. That's the, that's the joy of it. Yeah, it's like thinking about what to do next. You look at your little computer on your ship, like what have I not understood? Well. I have a little bit, um, I'm a little bit dreading, uh, I gotta go, I thought I was done with the Dark Bramble until I realized I gotta go back and I gotta throw my fucking scouter into that seed near the, the, what are they called? Ma Bramble seeds? No, no, the, the aliens. No my. The no my grave. I gotta throw my, gotta, I just gotta go back, gotta deal with it one more time and throw my goddamn scouter into the goddamn... Know my grave. Actually, I think I have to do that with um, not Gabbro, whatever the the the, uh, the Feldspar. Astronaut. Yeah, I gotta do that. There's a seed near Feldspar too. I gotta do it with him too. Just gotta throw my freaking scouter into some stuff, and uh, you know, just gotta do that. Um, the the third guy, I can't remember what his name is, but I keep thinking it's Cheems, and it's Cheems? not. Cheems. There's another it's astronaut. Oh, the, like the small one. Uh, there's like oh, there's like a fat one. There's like a big one in uh in Brittle Hollow. Yeah, that's who I think Cheems is, but I can't remember his real name. Mm, uh, I know they're oh, all named... Chert. 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 Okay, I know they're all named after stones. Stones that I know from Dwarf Fortress. Gabbro. I didn't know that. Yeah, Gabbro, Chert, uh, Feldsbar. Uh, I'm trying to think what it. I know about Gabbro. I mean, Dwarf Fortress. I'm always, I'm always mining Gabbro. I'm all, I'm always striking Gabbro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, yes, rocks. Do you want to? Okay. Do you, uh, the speakpipe.com/slash PCP voicemail. It looks like the old, the newest one we've got is called, or the oldest new one is called Store Run. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? I'm headed to the store. Do you need anything? Yeah, give me a pack of cigarettes. Give me a pack of smokes, please. Get me a a, a little chocolate bar. I don't know what they have where you are. Get me. Do they have um... a crunchy. Give me a crunchy bar. <sighs> no, what do I want? I want a um. I haven't uh. Last night I was really like, I want to order some food from some a restaurant. I want to order some like, uh, like some uh, what, what shit? What 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 do you call it? Um, what's the like the the like Middle Eastern food? Kebabs. Yeah, I want to order like some kebab, but uh, it was too late. It was like past midnight, so it was like maybe in the morning. I mean, it's good that I didn't because I would pay like forty five dollars for. Fucking rap, and that's bad. 
so get me a get me a kebab, please. If you if you're going by something like that. Next one is called Mike Ermintrout. Three, two, one, go. Take away, I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. Yes, what? It's a, it's a, it's a, put his phone up next to a meme of a Mike Ehrman Trout not actually speaking about sucking and fucking Walter, Walter White or something. Sucking and fucking Walter White, huh? That's... I heard it before. Fantastic. Spectacular. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Um, next one is called well, it's an Imgur link called NFT hypothetical screenshots. Okay, I'm gonna listen to it. Three, two, one, go. Real quick, Ben doubted the story about an artist being approached to make an NFT, so here's the screenshots of it. The creator got about thirty-six grand. What? I doubted the story of an artist being approached to create an NFT. No, I didn't. Do you know what he's talking about? I don't remember. Maybe you were saying it probably doesn't happen that much. You misinterpreted it as you denying that some specific thing didn't happen. See, some people have noticed I sold one of my posts an NFT. Someone emailed me offering to... This is dumb. I feel like... Obviously, I didn't mean that it never happens. I feel insulted that this... Do you do you think that I meant that it had never happened to anyone ever? Of, I don't think of course so. it of course it happened to like one person. Of maybe, course that happened. Maybe we were talking about this. I vaguely remember. I donated ten times the highest credible estimate of, to the carbon cost of climate change related charities. I don't care. I don't I don't care if it happened once. It's irrelevant. Ooh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Stupid. S- stupid. Next one is called uh well, it's a it's a Vinny, I think. Uh, three, two, one, go. Cat face. Mm. Cat face. Okay. Cat face. Uh, all right. Imgur link. Trixie is a golden witch. Mm-hmm. There the she lace, is. The lace in your dress tingles my neck. That's what you mm. say. I say that all. I'm always saying this. In case you wanted to look at that one picture of Trixie a little longer, yeah. Uh, my stand Uwoopity and platformer MK Ray woman having a soda pop together. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's me. Okay, me and Uwoopity doing poses from Baki the Grappler. Cool. NFTs become currency. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> Been crying like that chopper meme going around right now, and then a Virgin Chad oh. meme. You're the best, Gib. Virgin Saint doesn't know how to dress like a cool goth. Spends hours stalking his ex, Trixie the Golden <laughs> Witch. Has to move out of Slumlord's apartment. Uh, two chicken to kill his landlord and become the new landlord is being hunted for his treachery against the Kawasaki clan. <laughs> yeah, nice uni- unicorn power shirt. Uh, Chad why I, like, given twice your height. <laughs> You're so huge. Virgin Chad mean they're like the same height. Uh is cute, is like so cute, like oh my god, <laughs> has made so much character development and helps her friends and viewers with it. Shut up. Fuck, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Dude, I've made so much character of, development. People are proud of her and her accomplishments. Oh, that's so no oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'm so glad. <laughs> inspires me who is writing this i hate i hate you Vinny. i fucking hate you so much (laughs) has overcome stop saying the same thing over again over and over again how many times can you say (laughs) had character development fuck off (laughs) doesn't wait the bottom one doesn't outshine her co-hosts for their sake what the fuck does that mean (laughs) shut up (laughs) makes hilarious funnies that brighten your day no she doesn't. <laughs> she sucks, actually. So true. So true. Uh, Thank you, Vinny. False. false. Hearsay. <laughs> Prove it. You can't. I like this drawing of me as well. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Next one is called Cheesy Owned Epic Style. 
Three, two, one, go. Wait, wait. There's one more image on this. Oh, album. what was there? Did yeah. I miss it? Uh, oh. There's another Trixie thing. Uh, oh, yes. Trixie the Golden Witch. Her outfit is one of her boyfriend's shirts. Looks Trixie like Tate. Garbage yeah. bag. Yeah, like a potato sack. Trixie taping her office computer chair to her witch broom for the comfort for comfort when flying. That's kind of funny. Stand whichever wand, her manifested witch wand to communicate her feelings. The offense, the offense and defense varies depending on Trixie's understanding or awareness of the situation she is in. Hmm, same, same. Uh, the wand's variability is its greatest strength when utilized properly, but really has to be worked up to be sh- shown. Shown. Um, I don't know what that hmm. last bit means. This this is my superpower. My superpower does things when I understand what's happening, but it does not do anything when I don't <laughs> know what's going on. <laughs> so true. Uh, so true. So true. Uh, na- uh, shit, where was I? Cheesy, cheesy owned epic style. Okay, three, two, one, go. Cheesy Manfredo. I like cheesy. Man's gay dough. <laughs> yeah true I, I, I don't want to keep saying true but th- these these keep being true these ones Man, these, man's these gay man do you get it man's man's gay do do you get it i get no it. oh no well, let me explain it to you see it sounds like it's saying the man is gay though no it doesn't Did sound like it? that it sounds like cheesy man fredo that's the joke yeah but but also he he's gay though like pizza dough? No, like, like, like a uh, a uh, shit. What's like a uh, African American vernacular English? Like dough instead of though. I don't know. Oh, like currency? No, no, like <laughs> just the way you would say <laughs> the word. <laughs> I can't. Listen, picture it like it's a bubble. It's like a two-dimensional <laughs> membrane. No. Yeah, make it vibrate in your mind though. Rotate it. Rotate. Gay bubbles. Rotate it in your mind. Rotate the cube. <laughs> the in the your concept mind. of the, the bubble of gayness. Mm. Gayness. And then, pop anus. It. and then pop it because God doesn't like it. Pop and lock it. Mm. Uh, next one is called No SIM Card, No Service. Uh, true. Yes. True. Next one is called What Do You Think of the Mario Movie Trailer? Um, I, I looked at it. Um, looked all right. It looked, it looks, you know, like a 3D animated film. You know what was odd to me was like people when they heard Illumination Studios was working on it, they were like, "Oh no," because they made Minions. But like, those are like, like the 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 Minions movies are not like bad movies. They're just sort of for children. I mean, I've never seen one, so I don't even know. I've caught one once. I assume um, that they've made other things beside the Minion movies, so it wasn't like I thought, like, oh, it's well, yeah, going to be did, just like the Minions. They did Despicable Me, and then a Minions, like, uh, Despicable Me 1 and 2, and then a, a Minions, like, standalone thing. And, like, it? a prequel, and, like, I don't know. But, like, so you're like actually, the, the like, animation you're actually, like, is... disproving me. You're actually kind of making me think, oh, maybe that is all they've done. Well, it might be. I don't know. But, like... Hmm. I, like the the they're well animated, goofy, silly family movies that children love and yeah. mums love for some reason. I just so it's just sort of like people. I don't think people really understood. I I heard people saying that like they, they thought like the Goombas would be like the Minions. Yeah, like, like I'm, I'm I'm sure they I'm sure they. Don't it's have not to like write just the, one like, sort of thing. Like the, the the studio being used means that it's going to look like the animation is going to be like similar yeah. in 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 quality. The writing yeah. is different because it, they're working with Nintendo to write it. Mm. So like, yes. why would they think it would be the same thing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that seems a little silly. No, I didn't. I didn't think that. Uh, Chris Pratt's voice is pretty boring. Yeah, pretty yeah. Lame. a little bit lame. I think I I think it's okay for him not to have an Italian accent. Like I'm fine with that. Because, uh, I mean, he's always been a plumber from Brooklyn. He doesn't, doesn't sound like he's from Brooklyn. 
He has a he has a slight Brooklyn accent. Yeah, it's not it's not much. It's it's pretty underwhelming. The the fucking Hotel Mario CDI uh Mario voice is better. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I agree. But I I'm just saying like no Italian ac- I think some people think Mario needs to have an Italian accent. I think it's okay if he doesn't have an Italian accent, but I still think Chris Pratt's voice is boring. Sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's always <clears throat> a thing with animated movies where the budget goes big and they get like fo- like famous people who are not known for voice acting to do yeah. like to bring star power. Yeah. Because voice actors don't have star power even though they're better at their job generally. Yeah. Uh but uh what are you going to uh, do? Change the whole fucking industry? Uh yeah, is uh stupid uh next one's called happy birthday ben uh thanks next one after that's called asmr with ben saint uh three two one go Mm. (laughs) breathe in and out sniff I don't get it. Do is it saying that I sound like this? No, that was like a recording of you when you were asleep. <laughs> oh, that's how uh, you breathe. Wow, that's terrible. I should stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is called. Uh, wait, did I download that one? Uh, yes. Next one is called "A Win Is a Win." Three, two, one, go. What's up, baby, baby boys? I I called you guys back in August to say that that I was going to be 22 soon, and I was bummed out because I listened to the the Nate Virginity podcast story back when I was like 16, and I still had not had sex. But but in this time, I have in fact had sex, and it, 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 it wasn't good, but it was sex. That's crazy, okay, yeah, baby. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Procrastinators Woo, forever. Procrast- yeah. <laughs> Procrastinators <laughs> forever. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Congrats on the bad sex. Uh... <laughs> that rules. <laughs> that rules. Character development. Character development. Mm, We're all con- developing over here. I'm I'm amused. I'm glad. Hey, I'm, I'm I'm glad you gave me the glad. Thank you for the update. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a win is a win. Yes, it's true. Next one is called "Love You Guys." Three, two, one, go. Okay, maybe it is in fact say it wasn't good. No, it was just kind of awkward because it was. Uh, well, it's the first, first time. time. Yeah. <laughs> and it was gay sex. Oh, um, well, that's that's never good. But a win's a win. That's no good. Nah, I can't, think it's a win. Can't have, can't have gay sex. That's evil. No, it's evil. No, it's evil. you must die. No, you're evil. No, God says you are bad. What the fuck does God know about the I... Procrastinators podcast? God, okay. If this is he, the God... least godly place. God is like. An AI so advanced that he could draw any, any. He could picture. draw boobs that are he a, could draw any the size. Biggest, is there? Are there boobs? Is God? Wait, because there. Uh, what's the, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that God boobs so big that even God cannot draw them? <laughs> <laughs> mm. is, is, is it like that? That God has boobs so big that even God cannot draw them, or is or is it that God can do anything? No. And there's no such thing as a boob so his... big that God can't draw it. Uh, I'm talking... Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm thinking of other... You zoom like... out on the universe and it's just a big booby shape. No, they're so big that they can't. Where's the nipple of the universe? That's what the Nomai are really looking for. Mm, well, I'm glad they died instead of finding <laughs> it. <laughs> the next one is called, I'm hungry, what should I eat today? Uh, you should eat some kebab. Kebab. I say it kebab. I don't, I'm not sure if that's like a stupid way to say it, but it always um, sounded stupid because oh, to me well. it's kebab, <laughs> but it's like an American thing to say kebab. Yeah, I think Americans say kebab, but uh, even though it's not spelled that way. But anyway, that's what I'm hungry for. So this guy should be hungry for it. Yeah, as uh, well. Eat, eat, 
dirt, eat gruel. Sure. Hey, gruel, gruel's good. It is. It's like porridge, kind of. Oatmeal is, is sort of like a gruel, in a sense. Next one is called Funny Man, Where Are You? Yeah, Kyle and Funny Man, right? That's what it was, right? Kyle? Kyle and the Funny Man, the saga. They they ended, they, right? They had their grand finale. I, Although, yeah, I don't remember what happened. But I remember they, there they, was a grand finale. I couldn't tell you the details of it. Those were the days, though. You know, that does make me nostalgic for Kyle and Funny Man. <laughs> uh, he, where is he? He's he's off being funny somewhere. You know, just as just as just as we all knew he would one day. Uh, and Kyle is just being Kyle. I don't Kyle's know. just Kyle's just no. Nah, Kyle died, unfortunately. Kyle got pancreatic cancer, and he and, didn't. Yeah. You didn't make it. <laughs> Sorry, started breaking. But it's news. good material for the funny man's like yeah. stand up routine. Yeah. He's working. He's working on it. He's he's building his repertoire. He's making his tight five. Next one is called "Today Is Tuesday." Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's me again. Shit. Oh, how are you? I see how you are. You're on the way. I call you. What? What? You're all intelligent. Can you understand? No. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Shit, that should not have gotten a laugh out of me. That sucks. Uh, That just makes me think of uh, Today is Friday in California. You know that? I I don't. There's... There's a gimmick account on Twitter that posts it every Friday, and it's like some Japanese movie, and the, it's like a guy. He like he's on an operating table. I think he's like a corpse, but he like sits up and he's alive, and he says, "Today is Friday in California," and the like a cop goes like, "Huh?" and the corpse like shoots him with a gun, and that's the clip. <laughs> and I don't know the context. It's like a cool like eighties one liner. But very strange one. Yeah, yeah. It's weird on purpose. Ah, next one is called And. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. No. no. That's enough. Doing. Enough, enough, enough. Couldn't get Thank a you. single word out. <clears throat> Appreciate the thought. Next one is called L for Ben Saint. Three, two, one, go. Huh. All right. All right. Thanks for the voicemails. Thanks for the voicemails. Next one is called Uplifting True Facts. Three, two, one, go. Yo, Jake Masterson got swatted. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, really? Swatted mm. for what? Like, was it legitimate or like swatted as in I like, would imagine was no, streaming I think, and then they said I think when you there. get swatted, that's not that's bad. I no, mean, I, if... I mean, I know when a SWAT team comes <clears throat> around, it's bad. But like the the act of SWATing someone streaming live, who has done nothing just to harass them, that is what I imagine this means. I mean, ah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. Even though I don't like Dick Masterson, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can condone such a thing. However, if a SWAT team had a reason to go there and they found something that would be very juicy but I, I i suspect that's not what this is yeah i yeah i wouldn't i don't know i'm i'm going to assume that it was just some guy randomly swatted him and like i've got a cl- i've got a tut tut i've got a tut tut that that's that's rough uh but oh well bad things happen all the time and i'm not going to worry about it uh Next one is called PCP Fans Costumes for Halloween, like how Homestar does. I don't know what that is referencing. I know Homestar Runner. I just haven't we, seen it. Every, um, I mean, every Halloween they have like a, you know, all the characters have a, a costume. Like every show? Uh, no, there'll usually be like, there'll be a Halloween special and everyone, you know, everyone's got a costume that year. Or there will be, like, a special menu or something, and you can, like, yeah, like, hover your mouse over everyone and see, like, oh, what are they dressed up as this year? Oh, it's, like, a website. I thought it was a, like, video show. Well, 
it's both. It's a website with <laughs> video cartoons. What? That's crazy. Are you just, are you just not are you not familiar with I'm not with familiar Homestar? at all. I just oh, wow. know that it was a thing. Uh yeah, well it was flash based, so there were like interactive things as well as cartoons. Um I think that why would why would fans costumes like fans aren't typically featured in a thing. I think he means do you mean like we are we going to do costumes? I don't want to do co- I hate I hate it. I hate I'm going to get a costume. I know. When I said last time I was going to get a costume, I didn't really know what I wanted. I thought you were lying. I thought you were lying to me. But damn, you're telling me you were serious? Damn. I'm te- I'm serious. I'm going to get a costume and it's going to be um that's normal goth up. girl. And it's going to be, uh, that's what I'm going to be. It's not even I'm... a Halloween thing, really. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not really much of a costume. That's just it's, the yes, way to but dress. That's, that's, the, that's the joke. It was not a joke. <laughs> it's the serious secret tactic where I say I'm going to get a Halloween costume and then I just become a goth and wear it every day. Hmm. That's a good trick. That's a good life hack. I need to go. I need to go clothes shopping for goth for goth girl shit. Yeah. Uh, next one is called PCP. No, it's called specifically PCP related ones. Oh, to costumes. Are, oh, are you asking like if you're asking for like PCP related costume ideas? I mean, God, I don't know. The uh, like fuckers, the, the samurai, <laughs> Kyle, dress up as Kyle and Funny Man. You should go as Kyle and Funny Man for Halloween. Everyone will know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Or or you could be the PCP mascot guy who's just got his mouth open and he's like he's yeah. a, from a manga. You could be uh Riddle My Ass Batman. Or that, which that would be just, a good one. Just, just the Riddler. It's just the same looks the same as the Riddler, but you'll know that you're not the real Riddler, you're the PCP version. That's a good costume. Next next one is called Ben's Weekly Reminder. Play ja- Delta Rune Chapter 2. Okay. Then Ben's Weekly Reminder. Catch up to One Piece. Okay. Then there's some YouTube links that, you know what? I'm not even going to check them. I'm not even going to check we them. We never check them. If there's no so, information involved, then there's no nope. reason to click. Then there's Happy Birthday, Ben. Okay. Then there's I Miss the Old PCP. Wait a minute. There's one second of audio. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it coughed. It's just a cough. Um, if you True. miss the old PCP, you can go listen to it over on the procrastinators dot com. No, you can't. Uh, or on the You're YouTube. No, you can't. You're banned. Oh. Well, you could go listen to. You could. You could become a patron and listen to the old bonus episodes. That's true. Years and years and years and years of those. It was like sixty. Well, it's not. It's almost sixty. There will be sixty bonus episodes one day soon. I think. Next one is called NB Parents Maddie Mappa Dama Nori Nibby Nodi. What the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea what he's talking about. I ass- I guess these are words you could call your non-binary parents, and like, sure, oh. I could make up any fucking combination of syllables that I want and say, why don't we call non-binary parent? Why don't we call them? Why don't we call them dimbuses? Oh, oh, I oh, see. Oh yeah, they, oh yeah. My two, <laughs> I have two binary non-binary parents. There's dimbus and there's Mi'kmaq. No, sure, no, no. They're, they're, they're combining like things like Maddie is mother, mom and daddy. Mappa is like ma and pa. Mappa, dam, dama. What does Nibby what mean? Nori, Nibby, and Nodi. Is that supposed to be like a like a gender neutral like no, like a negation? I think I think, like a, a, I think you could you could teach a baby to say Nibby or Nori. I guess. I, I Problem mean, solved. Uh, I sure you could just call them whatever you want, and that's true. <laughs> uh, next one is called. Sweetness in mains, loud equals funny at gibmail dot com. Oh, this is gonna be shit, isn't it? Three, two, one, go. Ain't it all just food? The courses are arbitrary. You can eat three bowls of ice cream at two p.m. You can eat a steak at seven a.m. You can eat wings and fries whenever you want. I just can't bring myself to think X isn't suitable for this course. I just like the food sensations in my bod. I don't want arbitrary dish tyranny ruining any of that. You're a dictator, Gib. Totalitarian! You're killing me! Ah! What is he well, talking about? It was talking about how I don't... I 
I can't handle a sweet flavor in a main course or a starter as opposed to the dessert. Because I always bookend, not bookend, but like I end a meal. If I have a dessert, it's a sweet thing. And so mm. it just feels wrong to have sweetness before the dessert. And that's I just mean, a me thing. I wasn't dictating what you should do. I just feel like if I'm having a thing, I want I mean, it to um, be non-sweet unless it's dessert. There, I mean, there's not there's not very many sweet foods that I would eat as like a there, main course. I, I mean, think I the, the thing I brought up was like um, certain curries have dates in them. They're oh. sort of sweetened and savory at the same time. But I just don't like it. Hmm. Don't do it. To me, you can do it. Of, you can do it, but that's don't need a that's lot of curry. You. Uh, I uh, I mean, I think I'm not. I think uh, I think I wouldn't care. Yeah, I think I'd eat a sweet entree. I'll eat a peanut butter and fluff sandwich. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't give a it's shit. just a me thing. It's not uh, prescriptive. All right, gotcha. No, I'm I'm I got no I got no scruples about anything. Uh. Next one, and I think this is the last one. It's called Herder Carbon Offsets R Scam. Three, two, one, go. What do you mean carbon offsets are a scam? Like, yeah, there are some shit ones like pay this logging company not to cut down a forest that they were never going to cut down, but there's a whole spectrum of them. There are better ones that replace equipment and infrastructure in poor countries so that their people can go through their activities generating less carbon. And yeah, from some shittier companies, these estimates can be off by 300 or 400%, but some companies do better testing to make sure that the offsetting methods they provide are accurately measured so that they don't fuck over their customers. And if you don't trust anyone, there's still the ultra-reliable method of direct carbon capture. This is way overpriced compared to every other method of dealing with climate change, but it's also way easier to measure, making it more reliable. And guess what? The arse I was talking about to offset is NFT. This way bought credits for 10 times more carbon than the relevant transactions emitted. And within that mix, he bought some from a company that does direct carbon capture. Carbon offsets can be fucked up, but good companies exist. And if you overpay 10 times, as some people such as the YouTube channel Jetlag do, then you can truthfully and reliably offset your carbon. I uh, I guess I would agree that there are good carbon offsets, uh, but like, I think the the use of carbon offsets to excuse NFTs is not good enough. I would um, rather you don't do any of that, and you only do the carbon offsets. You don't buy the NFT in at all. Leave that alone. It's just bad. I. I mean, yeah, I'm I. Uh... So carbon offsets are something that a company can do to reduce carbon emissions, right? In a reduce carbon emissions, process. or like he was saying, like take carbon out of the atmosphere. There's there's things you can do. There's things okay. that are possible to do. Um, yeah, but like, uh, well, I mean, I, in the case it's... of NFTs, I don't like. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, they're bad for the environment. That's not like specifically why I think they're bad. There's they're bad for all kinds of reasons. So I don't know. Uh, the fact that they can be carbon offset doesn't really <clears throat> help my opinion of them. I'm not sure if that was this guy's goal, is to be pro-NFT on the basis of carbon neutrality. But, I like, mean, I think you thought we were that. just completely uninformed about the fact that carbon offsetting can work. Yeah. Well, I'm just... I'm sure, I'm sure it can work. I'm sure it can work. Uh... But like what I, does that, my, that my, really my reservation my, my reservation of 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 like citing carbon offsets with regards to stupid things like NFTs is that it it feels like an excuse. It feels like it could be very easily manipulated and mm. like like used to like I don't know bolster the credibility of things that suck. This yeah, like this guy says like it can be fucked up. And it can be like dishonest, and it can be ineffective. So, yeah, it probably is a lot, a lot of the time with something yeah. with something with something scammy like like NFT companies. I think are probably even more prone to that. Like if if there if there was um I don't know a very strict um like pipeline of of like. Uh, that you could easily look at uh, to see to prove that they are saying they are actually offsetting the right amount of carbon 
and that they're not fucking around and that the companies are all above board and stuff. Um, that would be one thing. Um, I still wouldn't like NFTs anymore if they, if they did that. If they if they can offset if they can offset the carbon from let's say an NFT, why don't they offset even more carbon? Why don't they just keep why don't they just keep offsetting carbon? Why do they why why would must they stop? <laughs> when I think when, well, I why mean, must they stop at net zero? Why can't we go into the negatives? The I think they just don't want to spend more money offsetting the carbon than they have to. Can we just I mean this is kind of a separate thing but like hmm I mean if we can just do that can we like subsidize like more of that? Can we like pay more tax money to like offset even more carbon emissions? Can we just do that? Is that a thing that we I mean have to... we could just do that but the government doesn't want to cuz uh, mm. it's expensive and not as popular as it needs to be for that to mm. be Hmm. Like a, it should be more popular. It sounds good. There's, there's enough people who don't like uh, saving the planet. It sounds think like it's, think it's dumb. Something that would probably be worth some money. <laughs> mm. It's sort of like COVID. Like, um, if the if the situation is dire enough, the government can get a lot more done than it usually does. Um, if it actually wants to. Like it can it can fund the creation of a vaccine much faster than the bureaucracy normally would allow it, and the funding that that, that would take a lot longer to get you know given to the the people who need it to do the work if mm. if the situation is fucked up enough, I feel like with climate emergency, the situation is clearly it's fucked up I feel but it's like it's not immediate enough for the people to to actually yeah. do as much as they really should be. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. We just it's we just gotta get it really bad. We just gotta bring we gotta brinksman it. We gotta acceleration it. We should just get it as bad as possible, as fast as possible, so we can get to the point where we where someone will do something. That's all. Easy. Yes. Let's e burn down every tree and become the Lorex. <laughs> exactly. Uh well that was the last uh that was the last voicemail. Thank God. I've had enough. Let's go back to talk right. about Outer Wilds. That was more fun. Yeah. But I've said everything. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 a little tricky. I don't want to accidentally give you uh, uh the solution to something. Yeah, that's fair. Uh well I don't I feel like I'm getting getting somewhere with it, so I might have finished it by the end of this week, perhaps. Maybe. I could see it happening. We'll see. <sighs> I gotta pee. I gotta pee really bad. But the episode's almost over. So we should probably just end the episode so I can go do that. Okay. Okay, well, patreon.com slash the procrastinators if you want to listen to a bazillion bonus episodes uh, from all the way back years and years ago and also today. A time capsule from many different times, <laughs> you might say. Um, uh, dot com slash PCB voicemail if you want to send us something that we will may maybe listen to if it uh, doesn't tick our boxes for things that need to be skipped and ignored. Uh, we're very we're very picky. We're very very picky. We're very very. Uh, 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 scrupulous about what we what we we will allow into our content uh, and I guess that's it anything else uh, no I'm not hungry. for now I, just, I, want, I want a kebab but I've had enough I, I ate like a lot last night and I, I've used up all my calories for the day and I <laughs> well now what am i gonna do you're gonna eat more calories ben i should saying i should just i should just get a fucking kebab fuck it just yeah Once if you're hungry while. you should eat that's it's normal i just want i just want one i just haven't had real food in a while i, I mean now get, i want one yeah that's what i want get order something from mr shawarma i'll probably do that later all right that's the episode for the week 
Uh, tune in next time for more Outer Wilds talk, probably, and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. And I will, <laughs> I will try to get Clarissa Gunsmoke uh, done quick. Based. I want to I get it made. I want to make it. A, yeah, I'm going to do it. Based. I'll try to get my video done. Maybe my video will be done this week. Maybe. Could happen. It's getting there. Only two more hours to go. <sighs> All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs>